It's so stupid, it's positively brilliant. <laughs> Yep, Charlemagne the God. Andrew Schultz. We are the Brilliant Idiots Podcast, and this week's episode of the Brilliant Idiots is sponsored by Squarespace. From websites to the online stores, the marketing tools and analytics, Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. There are no hidden fees or price hikes, and all websites are optimized for mobile. And it's so simple. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code IDIOT to save 10% off your first purchase. Let's start this show. Uh, Doodoo Herm is here. Yeah. yeah. Big Herman. Um, we are here another week. How's everybody feeling? Good. How are you? I am blessed, black, and highly favored, man. Happy to be here. Uh, happy to be enjoying another day of life. More people are passing away. Yeah. Who else died? Um, Leon, what's his name? Andre Leon Halley. Who's that? Big fashion guy, man. Oh, I thought you, got, I thought you made the guy from Fire Heartbeat. That's Leon. what Duval said, too. You can tell who's black. Well, he's black. That's the crazy part. Leon. That's the only Leon I know. <laughs> yeah. Duval said the same thing. <laughs> Duval was like, man, I thought you were talking about Leon from the Fire yeah, Heartbeat. Fire Heartbeat. That's Leon. Wait, what, what did he do in fashion? He was. Uh, he used to be the editor-in-chief of Vogue. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah. That. He passed away. He was 73 years old, which, uh, once again, I think is too young. What was his name? Andre Leon Halley? And name? that was what? Before Anna Wintour or whatever? I don't know, you know. 73 is Andre Leon Talley. I, you know, I, 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 wow. Yeah. Yeah. I, I know you're saying it's young, but... No, that's young, like, B. Young. I hear you, but at any time after what age, any day you, you don't mind somebody leaving. Well, here's 85. The 85, then any day after that you nah, could die. I mean, I'm going to sell mine, but 80, after 85, it's like, yo, they were old. After 90, you 100%. You could die any day. Yeah, 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 yeah I'm cool with that. But the older we yeah. get, though, with the advancements in technology, people yeah. might be sticking around longer. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? Like Biden's still here. Biden still here barely, <laughs> but they got him hooked up to something. They the got queen, him hooked the up queen to of something. England. Yeah, the guy, the yeah. guy that should have been president, but it's not. What's the other guy name? Trump. Ooh, McNeil. What's the other guy? The guy who's supposed to win, our savior, Trump. McNeil. No, what's the other guy? The old guy. Man, Biden. Bro? About? No, the other Bernie. Biden. Bernie. 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 He's still alive. Nah, they went. They ready for him to go, bro. They ready for him to be out of here. <laughs> Any they, day, they that's what I'm saying. Go. They let his ass go. Any day we sure. hear Bernie gone is okay. Biden farted yeah. this week again. <laughs> no, he did. Yes, he did. At the no, he yes, did. he did, man. No, he on did. Martin Luther King Jr. Day, man. He did. Wow. He, man, he let one rip. That's what I'm talking about. I'm like, about. God damn, let freedom grandpa. reign, bro. <laughs> let freedom reign. <laughs> go let on, free country. <laughs> From the hilltops of Georgia <laughs> to the Oval Office, <laughs> let freedom reign. Um, what did we see? This week that was positively brilliant. What Shit. a fucking idiot. Biden farting, bro. I didn't see him farting. Nah, he let it go. I just saw him say that George Floyd's death was more impactful than Martin Luther That's King. That's when he farted. <laughs> he farted during that same so thing. So even his body knew he fucked up. Even no. his body was like, yo, chill, <laughs> Yo, man. relax. Chill the his fuck out. His body got nerfed. Too tight. Too tight. <laughs> cut this out, bro. What are you talking about? What are you doing? If you don't cut this out, I'm, I'm going to cut the cheese. <laughs> right here, right now. Yeah, but you know what it is? It's just like basketball. People think that LeBron was more better than Jordan and stuff because that's all uh. they know. I guess he wasn't into it when when Martin Luther King was doing what he was doing. He was probably saying, fuck Martin. What are you oh, talking about? I'm just saying, with this guy, no, he was there, he was frustrated. Years old. I understand he, he was, was there, but he probably didn't give a fuck He was. He was. Right a, now, he, he was like 20-something when Martin Luther King Jr. was All that he knew back prime. in the day was kill black people back in the day. He probably didn't give a fuck about what? that shit. Uh, listen, I, I, I don't I, think he wanted to kill black people, but like, you know, maybe there was something that was inconvenient that Martin Luther was doing, maybe... He probably felt this more because I, this this time of day, I think these, even if you was racist back in the day, I don't think he racist that much now. I think Joe Biden's getting a lot of flack for saying something that actually, if you just sit back and take a step and stop worrying about, like, celebrity, because we always worry about celebrity in these mm -hmm. situations, right? We like, yeah, yeah, yeah. how dare Martin, somebody say Martin Luther King Jr. or George, George Floyd's death happened in 2000, what, 20? Yep. Yeah, right? the likes. In the height of the internet era, yes, there was no internet saying. when Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. was alive. So literally, the world globally saw this 12-minute video, and you know, in a matter of a couple of days, and it wow. was a worldwide renaissance immediately. So yes, I can see why Joe Biden would say George Floyd's death probably had more impact, you know, on the world than That's Martin Luther King. Yeah, but Martin Luther right. King got like actual like policy and legislation change. Yeah. He, they, he didn't say he life. Got his own day. He didn't he didn't he didn't say he didn't say who did more with their life. Right. He said whose death impacted the world more. I think 
just from a global reach level mm-hmm. in, in a span of 24, 36 hours. Okay, okay. Everybody under- knew about I George under- Floyd. I understand what you're saying in terms of like uh, population density, like this many people knew about George Floyd. But I would also say like the movement that Martin Luther King was spearheading uh, along with a lot of people was way more impactful because you're going from a place, it's like greater things were accomplished. Do you know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. it's it's not like it's not like the world wasn't paying attention to the black struggle, right? And then all of a sudden this happened to George Floyd, and then all of a sudden the world's like, all right, we got to do it. It's like we knew that things needed to change, right? Mm-hmm. There were other people that were also killed by police, right? So he was a part of a larger movement. Where Martin Luther King literally, like, he opened the eyes to a lot of folks. Yeah, who weren't he, even didn't even know. Like they were living in their own little bubbles. But he also like, died one of the most hated men in America. His approval rating was in the toilet. Like yeah. literally. Like Martin Luther King Jr. died dealing with anxiety and depression because he was catching hell from his own people. Right. His own people calling him an Uncle Tom, Tom and then the rest yeah. of America calling him a communist. Like he literally died as one of the most hated men in America. That's why I loved when his daughter tweeted that yesterday. His daughter was like, Don't act like y'all loved my pops when he died. Like he, I think his approval rate was in the thirties. Wow. Joe Biden levels <laughs> when he when he when he died. I didn't know so that. So now in his, you know, in, in in hindsight, everybody celebrates Martin Luther King Jr. But when he died, he wasn't beloved at all. Uh, George Floyd, you watch that video. If you're a human being, you had sympathy. So, so yeah. you know what saved Immediately. him? Immediately. That, that I had a dream speech saves him. If he didn't do that, then what the fuck? What do you mean that saved him? Martin Luther King. Meaning that's, oh, you mean? Like that's the one that's his, that's his yeah, number one thing. Yeah, that's single, the thing. Because that's the only thing that we that's know. That's, that's the only thing I knew. That shit go. That's the, I only know the hook. I have a I dream. dream. Yeah, I don't know the ver- I don't know the verses. I only know the hook. Don't you know it? You don't know the verses. I ain't say I did. You supposed to know it. I don't know. I know the hook. You don't remember the, the beginning of that shit? I had a dream that one day This is a public service announcement. So <laughs> <laughs> I remember when he said, um, I mean I get there with you. By the way, I don't even know if that's the same speech. <laughs> <laughs> no more now, I know Martin Bars. No I just can't put now, him no. I just can't put him together all at one. But listen, I I, I, I'm not agreeing or disagreeing with Biden, but I can see why he would make that statement like George Floyd's impact his death was super impactful now long term yeah I'm sure Martin will keep going Martin's death has stood the test of time you know what I mean yeah. I don't know but in that in this moment right now in the last couple of years yeah George Floyd it might get still get watered very impactful, down yo. it is but it still might get watered down because it's still happening still out of control it probably will happening. you know what I'm saying Martin yeah, Luther I, King I, still I, how many years I was doing that in a little I was in a play Doing Martin Luther King when I was young. I was Martin Luther King. I got to read the statement. Man, shut up, man. I was. <laughs> you think George Floyd's death is more impactful Let me than read the statement. Let me, let me get the statement. Yo, What's the exact statement? Martin Luther King got streets named after him, bro. He That's does. what I'm saying. He does. Me... I don't think George Floyd's going to get streets like I Martin. Think he has already. No, no, I want to see the But George don't got made. one in every black neighborhood in America. Every Still street. Early. And you know what? That's Not crazy. Yet. He already got statues and stuff. He right. do? You know? Ooh, it is a George Floyd. Are we going to get a day off of school? We got a day off of school because of Martin because Luther Martin Luther King. I don't jobs. I don't listen. I don't agree. I got to see the Martin Luther King thing. got a statue in D.C. Yeah, where the statues are at. What I is listen, that called? Statue Park. I'm with you. I just I, yeah. I don't like. I don't like. Let me see. What was the headline? I don't like these situations because it's time tells all. You know what I'm saying? It's too early to make a statement like. That. Yeah, he'll never catch him then. He'll never catch him. Don't. No, that's Michael. That's a different article. I just want to know what Joe you know. Biden's you know what's interesting is King's like King's speech. Time tells all, but at the same time, it's like the people who curate history really tell all. Because I was talking, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, like yeah, that. That's you're really right, what you know, history nah, is. What right. we decide yeah. it is. Like, yeah. and that just scared me a little. Hold really? on, Taylor. Don't show. Don't show. If we're talking, then just get distracted. If 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 if. Uh, if whatever we decide history is, that's what it becomes, right? Mm-hmm. And that's just scared me because I was talking to some people yesterday from from England, and I was like, "Yo, what do they teach y'all in school? Like, do they teach you about the fact that you guys colonized the world? Like, anywhere y'all Good go, girls. people speak English. Like, what is?" And they're like, they're like, "Nah, not really." And I was like, "So they didn't teach you that you fell off?" And they're like, "Nah." And I'm like, "So you think you run shit still?" <laughs> right? Like, and then I start getting scared. I'm like, "Wait a minute." Does China run shit now and we just teach yes. us yes, that we do. run uh, shit? No, they do. So And then I kind of got comfy. I was like, so we never going to know we fell off. Bro, did yeah. you see the Beijing Olympic team win an Olympic team coming off the bus? Nah. The black athletes. Man, there's a group of Chinese people. Y'all got to pull Oh, yeah, yeah. Yelling yeah. at them. I have not. They beat a race? Listen. They ran? If, they, if there was an Olympics for the N-word, 
that perfect score. Yeah, now I, you can pronounce your R's. Bro, yes, I have right, never, <laughs> right, right. Couldn't do that shit before, but now perfect Man, R when it's at the end of the N word. I have huh? not seen execution of the N word like that in a long time. I'm oh, like, yo, yeah. these guys have been watching MAGA rallies or something like. <laughs> <laughs> and and I'm from the South and live in America. Those were some really good N words that they was letting fly. <laughs> yeah. well, it was for the Beijing Olympics. Which I didn't even know happened. I didn't know they still had. I didn't know they had the Olympics in January. Where's Beijing? Nah, that can't winter be. Winter Olympics. The, the Winter, winter Olympics, Olympics are yeah. going on right now? Yeah. yeah. Wow. There's no way. <laughs> it, currently, what? the Winter Olympics are happening. I think it might be finished. Oh, yes. We still need the Joe Biden. Did we boycott Beijing it or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> it's still there. Yeah. Let me see. They did the skiing and everything and the bobsledding. Bro, I don't know yeah, what that's what it is. is. I just saw it this morning. Jamaican bobsleds. It said, okay, this is what Biden said. Even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's death did. Different time. It's just like television changed the civil rights, rights movement for the better when they saw Bull Connor and his dogs ripping the clothes off of elderly black women going to church and fire hoses ripping the skin off young kids. I even I did, This is the line that matters. Even Dr. King's assassination did not have the worldwide impact that George Floyd's death did. Okay, fair, but that's a function of the internet, not a function of the impact and, of the human. And we've seen you it And he, that's why you don't there even you say go. that, because you know it could be misconstrued. It's not necessary. Yeah. But back to this shit in Beijing. So the Olympians are there. You gotta hear it. I heard it. it. You ain't hearing it. Hear it. Bro, we had a party with it yesterday. Oh, this yeah, this guy. guy. So crazy. Now, the Winter it? Olympics start uh, February. Yeah, that's it. That's it. How do we turn it up? How do we turn it up, Alex? Yeah. Listen to the execution of these N-words. Well, listen to the track. And please add <laughs> to the track. <laughs> Where's listen, Beijing at? Listen. China. Beijing is the shit people put on their hair, bro. That's what yeah. I'm saying, guys. That's what he got Go from? back, go back, go back there. Listen, listen, listen. Y'all got to add this in post. Listen. Nigga! 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 Are you talking about the Jamaican bobsled team? Nigga! Nigga, 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 no, Trinidad ain't executed that well. That right there, that's not like Premier was scratching it. Wow. I'm serious. Nigga, nigga, nigga. Like, they watched something, bro. Well, that's Trinidad James, bro. Trinidad James was in Asian face. What the he's just right? I Trinidad. thought, I, but I thought so. When the NBA, I know they don't do that to the NBA players when they go over there, bro. You think so? I don't know. I don't know what that is. And then also, they could not have been saying that. And then that's just something that like the American government put over it. So we yeah. hate China because we're about to go to war with China. Ooh. Mm. And it's easy to make Asians look racist because you assume they're racist. And, and you got to understand. America you know, don't want that problem right now. Ni what, Negro China is, is a color, right? Yeah. Alone. I want all the smoke bombs. No, you don't. No, you don't. Nah, you don't want No, you don't. No, you don't. Nah. No, you don't. No, you don't. No, you don't. America cannot handle that right now. What are you talking about? Nah. We got cool bro. shit. You don't want to go nuke for nuke right now. Now's not the time. We can go nuke for nuke. Yeah, and that'll be it. Where you going to do your last show at? Say what? Where you going to do your last show at? Beijing. Right where it came from. Cracker! 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 <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know you could say that. <laughs> man, that is so stupid, man. But no, we don't want that smoke. Yo, right do you now. think it's possible that they're not culturally aware of the of how awful that word is? That's a lie. Because in, if you okay. watch that video, one of them goes, "Get the fuck out of here!" Whoa! Yes. Yeah, yes, they let it get the fuck I out of know, here. How do you know our language, though? Oh, God. Can we talk? <laughs> That's a good point. We don't know their language. I don't know what the fuck they saying. The they internet. Say, shit. say what? Know. How about the internet? But we don't know about their language. That's they true. They can say something else. We they could speak if they would just let us what? get uh. the accent off. <laughs> 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 Because <laughs> you yeah. can't really speak the language yeah. without the accent. But you know, am what? I lying? What, yeah. What don't they have like Negro <laughs> yeah, or something yeah. like that? I don't know anybody that can speak Chinese. Either. I can speak Chinese. I can do it a little bit. Do you lay no more? I can do you lay no more? What's that mean? It's a curse word. Oh, Chris, I, I know one. Can you speak um, Chinese? Six C. Uh, Chow. Uh, what the fuck they say? Chris is uh, Chris isn't available, Chris isn't right, available right now. Chow Bing is Chow Bing. That's your brother's name, by the way. No, it's remember he was on uh, Rush Hour and yeah. he was talking to the guy. Yeah. That wasn't real Chinese. You sure? Do you lay no more? 
Yeah. I'm positive. Listen, speaking of history, people revising history, Dwayne Wade said that uh, the next generations are going to forget Michael Jordan, like the same way they did Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. I highly disagree for the same reason the that Jordans, I agree. I, why, no, let me say this. I highly disagree, but I agree for the same reason I can understand why Joe Biden made the statement he made about George Floyd. Mm. Yeah. The internet absolutely positively keeps the legacy of somebody like Michael Jordan alive. His sneakers <laughs> absolutely positively keep his, the legacy his, his like Michael Jordan alive. His sneakers is an I am a good dream speech, though. The last dance keeps the legacy alive. And more importantly, Michael Jordan is the bar, baby. If he had them When you're the bar, people... No, that's not true. I'm telling you. He's the bar, Wax. If he didn't have no sneakers, like no, that's not true. Luther King okay, that's not true. So, so that's not all true. Into, the speeches and sneakers, no, no, bro. I think, I think, I think he's making a good point. It's like yeah. those sneakers are a statue. Yeah. It's like every single day when we see the statues of you know the the founding fathers and shit, you right. see the people yeah. on the money. You're gonna remember, oh shit, George Washington on the dollar bill. He must yes. have done never even know who he yes. was. Exactly. So it's like having those things constantly in culture is gonna remind us how great that person was. But I completely agree with you. Is once you lose the greatness in terms of actually seeing it, he becomes a little bit less important. You just start going, oh, I guess this guy did some dope shit because I love his sneakers, so he must be dope. Mm -hmm. But the way that a new player is going to impact somebody is going to be far different than a player they never saw play. Michael, exactly. I agree, but Michael Jordan will never be replaced until he's not the bar anymore. I, I agree with that. He's literally the bar. But Everybody that comes in the league now, let LeBron me, James is the new, is, is, is the new Michael Jordan. You. Let me throw this at you. Mm -hmm. yeah. What happens when and this is where I think it potentially goes away. When our generation, the last generation that actually saw Michael play in his prime, when we die, he will be potentially replaced. I doubt it. Cause the, they, them yeah, you got guys like DDG, right? DDG's DDG's 20 something, mm -hmm. you know, popping on the YouTube. He literally just said, when are we going to admit Steph Curry's better than Michael say, Jordan? That, that's what Steph I'm saying. So he skipped Braun because he didn't, he skipped he didn't Kobe. see him play. That's what I'm saying. He but didn't see Michael him play. Michael Stilton Bar is what I'm saying. DDG didn't say better than Kobe, better than Braun. He said better than Michael Jordan. Right, 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 right. He knows that that's what the bar is. Yes. But we're keeping that bar alive because we're the one telling these youngins yes, that they're once crazy. We go, it's over. But once we go, yeah. they can't even make the argument because they never saw him play. How are they going to say he's the greatest ever if they never saw him? It's like, I know Sugar Ray Robinson is the greatest boxer ever, but I don't because I never saw him. My mm -hmm. dad will say yes. Mm -hmm. I know um, Bill Russell is the greatest basketball player that's ever played, but I don't because I don't know. I only know that from my dad. Listen, it's all, we, none of us were alive when Martin Luther King Jr. was here. But every single well, one of us pushed back, one. every single one of us pushed back on the George Floyd having more impact mm. because we understand the legacy of a Martin Luther King if, Jr. If George Floyd gets me a day off, <laughs> if George Floyd gets me a day right off, he gets some streets and different, yeah, every yeah, single yeah. black neighbor yeah. got a Martin Luther King Jr. Boulevard. Literally. It's going to be tough though. What? what you said earlier, he ain't legislation, bro. Martin Luther King Jr. got legislation passed. You know? Legislation passed. Who? Malcolm X. He does have a day. Just, I just don't, don't think it's a federal how holiday. How his birthday. How I think we celebrate his birthday. Malcolm was never mainstream. He wasn't working with the gov, bro. The government yeah. dictates the you holidays. Know, I think a lot of it, he just ties in with Black Panther. That's why they don't want to make it. You, you, you said what? I, I feel like they tie him in with Black Panther too much. I'm Black Panther. That's a Black Panther. I'm sorry. Okay. With the Panther. <laughs> it's it's brilliant it is. It's okay. I love it. You know it's, what I'm trying to say? You know what I'm trying to say? No, I don't. No, anyway. no. I was like, what did Malcolm and Chadwick Boseman have to do with each other? God bless the dead. Like, what? I get it. What are you talking with about? the Panthers, I feel like they tie him in a lot. Um, yeah, he was known as more, as more of a rebel. But, but I that's mean, why to, he's never going to be, I feel like. To show to his point, though, like, it's like, yo, Martin Luther King Jr. was in with the government. He got legislation changed, like, and mm -hmm. he got he, he got assassinated. Like, I mean, Malcolm got assassinated, too. But Martin was, Martin was mainstream. Like, I don't know any other way to say it. Like, yeah. Martin was mainstream. Martin got actual legislation changed. You know what I mean? He got legislation pushed through. Yeah. A couple times. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, eh, you know, it's a difference. Mean. But I don't think the legacy of Michael Jordan's going nowhere. Number one, For a while. I don't see it because because of the sneakers and because he's the bar. When you're the bar, when you're the person that everybody always compares someone to, mm. you don't go nowhere. But it used to be yeah. Kareem, and Kareem got guns. What he said, but saying. Kareem never had sneakers. Kareem never That's had something to continue the legacy. Yes. And also, Kareem's game wasn't as coveted. Kareem's like That's right. the reason why Steph and I, and I don't think Steph will replace Jordan, but like. Steph's game is transformative in the same way that Michael's game was transformative. Yeah, we didn't even say Kobe. Like, how the fuck y'all get rid of well, Kobe? Well, Kobe was too close to Mike, right, in terms of his game. 
right? But Steph's game is uniquely different in the same way, like, and maybe we'll forget about him because he doesn't have rings, but, like, I remember when Iverson came into the league, like, Absolutely. the game same changed shit. Absolutely. Shit. in the same way that happened with Steph. Like, when Iverson came in the league, we were all trying to break ankles, cross everybody the fuck up, Shaq. going at the rack, and didn't matter how big somebody was. And then when Steph came in, everybody was shooting threes, even the big dudes. Yep. That's right. So it's like, if you can transform your art, then you're going to have a lasting impact. Who knows if you're going to be the bar, but people won't forget about you. And, and, and when you got uh, historians around that can always talk about the situation. Plus, we keep forgetting, Michael Jordan never lost in the NBA Finals. Oof. So in order for you to even really Oof. have a real debate, somebody's going to have to beat that record. Bam. All that stuff you do in the regular season, cool. You might even score more points, cool. But did you dominate? And, and it was Did really ballers back in the era. day, too. It was really, yes. It was ballers. You, Sean Kemp and them, these guys out there was monsters. Michael bro. Jordan Bird made people and... forget people. <laughs> like there's these people, that, there's people from that there, era bro. that were great that Michael Jordan made you Delete. forget. Yeah. You know? I was talking, I was having this conversation about Tom Brady. The reason Brady is the GOAT, well, we know that already, but it's also because not only has he been consistent, Mm -hmm. and had crazy longevity, mm. he still wins now. Mm -hmm. So every time you win now, your whole history gets told. Yeah. That's why I say sometimes LeBron got to be careful. LeBron got to be careful. Because even right now, they're already shifting the narrative, even though I said this a couple of years Steph. ago. The narrative is shifting. Curry. Steph is the guy. Yeah, he likes it. And when you look at it, when you look at the, <laughs> <laughs> when you look at the, when you look, when you look at it, Steph, transformed the game more than any NBA player That's of the last 15 years. Mm. Nobody was trying to play like LeBron. Nobody was yeah. trying to play like LeBron. Because LeBron was getting compared to Magic. Yep. Yeah. Michael, we're not comparing Steph to nobody. Yeah, Steph is Steph. 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 Steph is the first Steph. Yeah. yeah. And guess what else? Steph beat LeBron in NBA Finals, what, three times? Ray Allen's, though. You're not giving him three Ray times? Allen. No. Yeah. Ray Allen is not in the discussion. Is Steph, he just, come no. on. Ray Allen was a man with threes. Reggie no. Miller. All right, man. Y'all must ain't see you, it. Man? No. We saw it. That's what I'm <laughs> and saying. That's what in, you, in, in their it's, days, it's they not were the even, Yo, Ray Allen and Reggie will tell you it's not even close. When Steph broke that record at the Garden this, this year, this guess year. who was standing on his left and his right? Reggie. Ray, Ray Allen, Allen and Reggie Miller giving yeah. it up. Got to yeah. give it to him. <laughs> okay. You got to give it to him. Give, giving it up. Yeah. But, yeah, Steph, and he beat LeBron in NBA Finals. Multiple times. Like three times, right? Yeah, we're not going to forget about that. We're not going to forget about yeah. that. Yeah. And, I, and guess what? Steph, when Steph wins again, because he's going to win another one, when he wins again, Cement. you're going to see his whole history. They're going to be laying it out. You're going to be like, man, Steph has been the best. And, and LeBron don't look like he's going to win this one. Steph just ain't got no sneakers that slack. Yo, yeah. they, he really don't. Mm -hmm. His sneakers been trash. And that's important, dude. dude it is. That. It that's is. your it statue. Is. As a like, it we're going to remember Penny for longer than we should simply because of the, the sneakers. sneakers. You're right. We, and we probably right remember... Hill. Shit, Grand Hill, man, that's so true. And Grand yeah. Hills, we still talk about them Grand Hill feel eyes. No, yep. you're right, dude. Yeah. And even like, Pat like Kyrie, even the Shaq. Nah, with Shaq, we, we could forget though. Shaq, Shaq, <laughs> <laughs> we could forget the Shaq. But we Shaq is still Shaq, though. Yo, can I? But I, can I say something about Shaq that's so interesting? It's like his personality, the greatest, is just so fantastic mm -hmm. that he's been able to like maintain relevance. Like now, all his like uh, local philanthropy that he does, like. Just being in a grocery store, seeing a single mom, and then just buying all her groceries, and buying a kid sneakers, all that kind of EDM shit. Like, concerts, he owns DJ. Got, he got Shaq Towers in Newark. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. What? Shaq, Shaq the man. Luxury Tower Complex in Newark, New Jersey. Yeah, Shaq, Shaq is man, Shaq bro. really is the man. All Jersey, the Krispy Kremes he owns, like guy. Shaq really is that guy. Hmm, like really Shaq is. is that guy. Like I, I be looking at Shaq like, yo, that's not only is it a, a future Him billionaire. And magic. Who? Him and Magic. Him and Magic. Like yeah. yeah, for real. When you look at entrepreneurship. You got to look at Shaq and Magic first. Mm. Like, Shaq figured it out in a mm. real, real way that he don't really get enough credit for. Mm. And I don't know why that is. Because mm. it's all out there. Like, you know that he franchises the Krispy Kremes and stuff. You know he got his real estate in Newark. Like, he got a lot of stuff going on. He owns, like, yeah. he owns, like, the, the likenesses. He, he invested in this company that owns the likenesses to, like, Muhammad Ali and Marilyn Monroe. Yeah, and people like that make yeah, it look yeah, easy. Yeah. That's why people don't even respect it. It's like, they make it look easy. That's Shaq. He's supposed to do that. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, instead of some other guy on the street who made that happen. They get how it feels to be, that, to be that rich that long. That long, man. Yeah, how do you, Shaq how do you like center yourself, huh? man? That's, yeah. <laughs> Dude, you don't have to center yourself. The world revolves around me. And he's still working. But that's like, when you start to get weird. 
Like people start to get weird when the world revolves around them. Yeah. And where every person in their life is serving them in some way. I live with these motherfuckers in my building. Like any inconvenience that they experience is an attack because they're not, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like they literally, you probably see this in the neighborhood, yeah. like someone's car is parked where it shouldn't be and the wife runs out. Whose fucking car is yeah, this? Yeah, What's yeah, going yeah. on? It's like, shorty, yeah. shorty, you've been inconvenienced. You've been inconvenienced. You, you just don't have anybody in your life that inconveniences you because everybody serves what? you. Earth. So you think it's an attack on you. Yeah. Life is filled with inconvenience. How do these people who have so much wealth and maintain that sense of self where they're like, yeah, sometimes shit doesn't go right and that's okay. I know. I, I think I know it with Shaq. I think number one, because he, you know, those first years, some of his first years of his life, he was poor, right? You know what I mean? So but also, forget that. You, know, you never forget that. If you've really been in the trenches, yeah. you don't forget that. Word and then also, I think that's why he's such a public servant. I think being a public servant keeps you grounded mm. because you're always thinking about something, somebody other than yourself. Oh, you yeah. Mean? You know what I mean? Yeah, you know yeah, you're yeah, here yeah, to yeah. serve the needs of the public. Like, yeah. the, like you said it yourself. He was like, these people have been inconvenienced because they're so used to people serving them yeah. all the time. But when your mindset is, hey, I'm a public servant. I'm here to serve the needs of the public. How can I make somebody else's life better? You're kind of always on the lookout for that. So it gives you a sense of empathy that you mm. probably, that a lot of those other people probably don't have. Yeah, that is true. Well, I, I could go like yeah. that with JetBlue. Like, if I don't, like, they don't help me get my way. I'd be like, come on, like, how y'all doing me like this? So I feel a little bit, and I feel inconvenient. Yeah, we all feel annoyed when we get inconvenienced, mm -hmm. but we don't look at it as a personal attack. Like, you're doing this to me. Like, somebody wants to hurt me. It's yeah. just sometimes things don't go the way yeah, that yeah, they're yeah. supposed to go. Yeah. But they that is interesting. Traffic. Like, serve in the public in some way or even like religion like low key I find that like celebs that have maintained some belief in God are way more humble bro mm -hmm. Respect, yeah. than the ones who like hate God or like have become complete atheists like it's easy to get caught into this thing where like you have your own God complex yeah, yeah, yeah. the I world revolves this. around me yeah. Uh, yeah like nobody else could possibly help me like you see guys like I don't know man like Denzel seems like the same guy and I don't know him personally. I just see him in interviews on the red carpet, but like there's a God fearing dude. Yeah, he talks, a lot of kids he talks about a lot, but also he's like, got like good advice about the world and like good advice about humility. And, and he's very grounded. Yeah, yeah. man. Like, he's very grounded. I, I, I love that. Us, reality. To me, that's all I want. Like, I just want to be grounded. Like I want to be a family man and like, you know, continue to grow spiritually. You know what I mean? Oh, and just grandkids. be a public servant. Like, yeah. cause this shit is not complicated. Mm. <laughs> like we complicate this shit. Like the people you're talking about that get inconvenienced, they run out and freak out over things. That's how I be in this entertainment business. Mm. I'm like, what are y'all tripping over? Mm. Like we do little radio and podcast and TV. Like yeah. I used to work at Taco fucking Bell. Yeah. Like relax. You don't want to know what I used you to do. You know what I mean? You know what <laughs> and, and, and by the way, the worst thing is when you shit on those people who make your life better. Yeah. Those public servants that you, the public servants you should be yeah. in just your everyday life. Why are you mad at the garbage, man? Yeah. Why are you mad at the person fixing your Looking coffee? Why are you mad at the JetBlue flight yeah, attendant? Yeah. She ain't flying the plane. It's not her fault the, the, the plane They got late. attitude, though. They got attitude. Sometimes flight attendants got yeah. attitude. They, they got to deal with a bunch of assholes. You hear what you just said? <laughs> they they got to deal with all the energy it. they got to deal with all day and long. That's, you, that's they, your when, job. When you chose us, that job. That's true. I, I hear you. But you the, that right. same energy. They're still human. You know but what I mean? They're they still human. The fact that you don't project it all the time, the fact that you got to deal with that many dickheads and not go crazy. How many crazy. dickheads y'all got to deal with? They sitting down. A lot. No, I've seen them all fucking dickheads. chips, giving them a little soda. I've seen flight attendants get done dirty. Say what? I've seen flight attendants get done dirty. How you dirty already, can you do that? you them? already feel privileged that you're flying, period. So now you got some little chip on your shoulder. I watch them. Bruh. There's a lot of pieces of shit that fly with them. No, it is. If anybody's rude to someone in, in like, a service position, I'm very defensive of them. Me like, too. If you I don't play that to, shit. If, yeah, if you're rude to a flight, you're rude to a waiter or any of that kind of shit. It, it, I'm, I'm very defensive. I take their side, and I will defend them. That being said... There's some motherfucking flight attendants that got an attitude immediately. Bro. Respect. And no, it's like, cut you. that shit the fuck out, yo. What about TSA? Say what? Even worse. Not TSA. They took, they took my fucking gloves worst, this week. Worst one I ever... So they TSA's should. trying to save us, bro. They did, but why they take my gloves? Because you could kill us. 
That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I don't, I'm not, Why I'm you not, gloves I don't, feel, I don't feel sorry for you. You keep going through TSA with them tight ass pants. No, yeah. you know what you're doing, yo. Leave me alone. You're going there for the fondle, bro. You're going there for the fondle, bro. You I are. Don't. Yes, you these are. T- these pants yes, are that tight. Are. Why you always go in the back room? Whenever they say, yo, you I ain't go. I never went in the back. Liar. Yo, they got your gloves, bro. That's a souvenir, dog. That means somebody really likes them. They like smelling them shit right now. They probably jerking off with your gloves on. Yeah. Yo, because it went through and I said, yo, where my gloves? They're like, we no gloves. I'm like, bro, there's no way somebody looking the thing or whatever. And I'm about to be late for a flight because I always go uh, a little bit less than an hour so I can keep on going. Yeah. And this motherfucker's like, nobody could find my gloves. I just like, yo, y'all got it. Whoever got it, y- y'all, got, y'all caught that. That's fucked up. Yeah. Damn, I was jack- in Atlanta with no gloves. Jack off with your gloves on. <laughs> Why you got to think the worst? <laughs> we even went down the thing and got shredded. Somebody likes you, bro. You were in Atlanta with no gloves. In Atlanta with no gloves, bro. Dude. That's what. <laughs> dangerous out there, bro. You gonna do it or I'm gonna do it? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> you gonna make the Next. joke or should we just let the audience make it? So you, so, so you just went raw, bro? <laughs> in Atlanta? <laughs> My fiance. I you can make it like if that. Magic made it. Nope. Nope. <laughs> I'm a fiance. I'm not in that type of stuff. Come on. Come on, Al. Listen, Come on, Al. Speaking of God, right? Yeah. Pastor Michael Todd. Out of control. Can you explain this? I didn't watch the video because as soon as I saw the headline, and it was like Pastor Michael Todd spits on church goer, even though the church goer was his brother. Immediately, I was like, okay, this is somebody who was trying to illustrate uh, that scripture in the Bible where Jesus spit in the blind man's eye and made him see. I've heard the sermon before, so I just was not interested. I got interested when I heard the audio on the radio. Cause this wasn't an ordinary spit, bro. <laughs> what? He... Yeah. Oh my god! Can you pull? You can't pull it up, Alex. Multiple oh, times, god, bro. bro. No, it was a loogie, bro. Like, nah. like, like, oh, like sound effect worthy. <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 put this in the guy. Are you to even think that it's okay to put bodily fluids on another man? Where does he spit it though? In his hands? He spit it in, in his, his hand, hand and then rubbed it on his face. Yo, I almost, I almost gagged nah. just right now thinking about that. So nah, somebody bro. did that too. What you doing? You jabbing? Say what? You jabbing them? Yeah, I got to fight you, dude. Well, depending on their size. <laughs> the point of the sermon was he was saying, the point of the sermon he was saying that, you know, sometimes your blessings are going are gonna to come through messy means. He was like, your blessings are going to come that. through the, like, nasty Thousand means. Like, you may not always recognize the way your, your blessings come. I hear, mm. I hear that. I hear that. I propose a, a, a decision. What I'm telling okay. you? It's just as he's physically standing here. This. Yeah, yeah, I ain't watching that. Knowing what's gotta, coming. Yeah, man, God's yeah, saying, watch. can you physically the Bible, right? yeah. and spiritually no. and emotionally? He says, he says what, you know, they always say, what would Jesus do? They say, God created man in his image according to his likeness. Respect. He's a pastor, mm-hmm. right? So he's trying to, you know, teach like the master teacher, right? So he spits on this guy because that's what he got from the Bible. So everybody's outraged and, you know, they're mad at him and they doing their cancel thing online. So there's a lot of things in the Bible that would get you canceled in 2022. Like what? What do you mean? The Bible's misogynistic. The Bible's sexist. The Bible justifies slavery. The Bible is intolerant of homosexuality. Right? I mean, but but, 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 huh? (laughs) Cutting your baby in half. Can't cut your baby in half. Killing your brother. Going to murder your brother. brother. You can't do that type of stuff. You don't know. Sodom and Gomorrah. You can't do that. That's it. That's That's, the tolerance of homosexuality. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. That's in the Bible. You was just getting all Sodom and Gomorrah. I'm just saying, I I mean, if you don't want to do that type of stuff, you believe in that, you don't have to do it. So should you cancel the Bible? (laughs) Should you cancel the Bible? If you're not willing to take some spit on your face, or a <laughs> nah, but if, 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 would you punch Jesus in the face? Listen, if Jesus do something to make me, because he he made me, so if yeah. he do something well, that God he know, made you, he did. So he, he also make made sure. lotion, bro. <laughs> See? God damn. Bro. I'm having trouble you sure you breathing over there, dude. You sure you don't want me to spit in your hand? Jesus, yo, no, you need some saliva <laughs> bad. Listen, but God knows exactly who he is. Yes, bro. He, he not, he not going to do it. Unless God want me to go to jail. Or something like that. He like, I need you to talk to somebody in jail. Jo- God might let somebody spit on my face. So I can beat them up so I can go to jail. And what talk if it's to Jesus? To. That's what I'm saying. I'm gonna let what it. What if I'm Jesus let himself go. spit on you? Spit, spit in your on eye you and then rubbed it on your face? I might be going through something that he can see that I don't know. And I will let Jesus do that because I know that that's what Jesus How do Jesus you know it's do. Jesus though? Yeah, you you assume homeless people are Jesus. That's right. Ooh. What if a homeless guy walked up to you right now, spits <laughs> yeah. in your face, and says, Ooh. "I'm Jesus. I need you to see." What would you do in that moment, yo? Greg fucked that up. 
<laughs> what you mean? <laughs> <laughs> she ran to fuck that up that day. <laughs> <laughs> if he didn't do that that day, you only no. get one get out of jail Listen, free no. card. All jokes aside, don't think about that, though. <laughs> what if in that moment he was possessed by the Holy Spirit because you showed a lot of patience with him? Listen. You didn't go crazy. God you know what I mean? Bless. Listen, I, I I just know that if God, wherever I end up at, because every morning <laughs> I tell stars God. stars right now, bro. I'm legit seeing stars right now. I opened my eyes and I was seeing stars. God, man. Listen, God is in control. Every day I ask God before, when I get on my knees before I go to the bathroom is like, take over my eyes and my heart and everything. Everything everything today is all of your glory. So whatever happens, if I end up in jail that day, as long as I'm not dead, I'm okay. Nah, you can't give God all that credit because you might have just made a poor choice. You might have did something that caused you to go to jail. If somebody spit on me. Jesus. <laughs> yeah. He wanted me to go to jail. This is what I'm saying about the Bible. The Bible has a lot of outdated concepts, bro. The Bible has a lot of outdated concepts that, number one, you probably literally shouldn't do. And number two, just simply don't fly anymore in 2022. Nah, it's all about your journey. <laughs> we need the LeBron James version of the Bible, bro. Update it. Nah. It's all about that word. That word got something with it. You can't. Okay, why did he spit? What what was in the spit that helped the guy's eyes? <laughs> <laughs> He's Jesus. That's why it's a miracle. By the way, yeah, if it. Pastor Todd would have spit on that dude and like the dude grew an afro or something right then on the spot, uh, okay, we wouldn't even be me. talking about it. Like, Whoa. Me. We need some spit too. Yeah. One day in Atlanta, baby. One day in Atlanta, and you want Michael Todd to spit on you, baby. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I'm talking about. I'm talking about. Imagine you stay a full 24 hours, 12 hours there, and now you want a man to spit on you? No, I'm just saying if the Afro grew, then all right, let me see what you got. All I'm simply saying is there's a lot of outdated concepts in the Bible. And nobody wants to have that discussion because nobody wants to have the conversation about, well, maybe, just maybe, this man-made piece of literature, maybe we don't need it. Whoa, oh, whoa, you whoa. You bugging. Whoa. I think I got we, God. We got God. You know how, I know, you know how, but I un- think we need it because we've chosen to have it for this long. And well, we don't, but, but, but it's, it's, it's so, we don't follow it. Who? No, we do. It's, it's, no, we don't. What are you talking about? That's, that's my whole GPS system. That's my yeah. guidance. Without that, I would really be out fucking, here fucking people up. You've been fucking without being married for years. Why do you think God gave us? He you gave eat us pork. You no cheated. Before. You've stolen. We had to grow. You've lied. You don't think I can grow? <laughs> okay. I grow. And God, and God gave me that word so I and can grow. He I did all that get knowing off. he shouldn't. Imagine there was no book that told and him how he's even with like a, that. Even he's with, be doing it now. Even with a book. Think about all these religious folks that judged Michael Todd this week. Uh-huh. Christians aren't supposed to judge. They immediately for, forget counseling. We are always yeah. going to fall short. We always going to fall short. It's a lot of falling that's short. Why, that's why he gives us forgiveness <laughs> over times t- times 10. Which do, is why also do, the BS. Why do Christians got to be perfect if the whole point of God is you're not perfect? He is. No, that's my point. They're not supposed to be perfect, but they act perfect. And then try to forgive forgive, forgive themselves for their sins. And then they judge everybody else. Like literally, people immediately went to judgment on Michael Todd. Other church people, where is the counseling? I think I think that's a really interesting point, which is acknowledging there's certain things in the Bible that we shouldn't replicate today. Yes. Right? Testimonies. Chill out. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's more just like what is the uh, emotional and spiritual message behind it? That's that's why I need to understand the spit thing. Like, what did the spit serve? You know, like, what was he, this? The guy, um, after he put the spit in his eye, he, he came not blind no more. Right. You see what I'm saying? So he's trying to say, if God could work those miracles, he's through us. I'm going to put spit on him, and I guess his hair going to grow or whatever. That hair didn't grow. So right now, he just put spit on him for no reason. That's the outrage. Yeah, but the Bible doesn't say it's going to help your hair grow. Keeps No. <laughs> Go check out Keeps. <laughs> Use promo code IDIOTS. Is that really a... Mi- no, oh. no, no, that's, <laughs> no. That's good. Okay, I want to read some of this misogynistic stuff in the Bible. Because I actually think it's, I, I'm like, I, I think it's very uh, man, good. You got to understand when you saying these church folks outrageous bro, stuff, you can't that's read their problem. Jesus' old tweets, bro. That's my because point. everybody gets canceled for their old tweets. That's my point. So the yeah. Bible is an outdated thing. Okay, we all... read it. Read it, read it, read it, read it. Well, let me see. Um... I don't think so. I think all these people that got outraged, that's why they go to church and that's why they praise the Lord because they know they fucked up. The people that judge, you're going to church because you know you you a judger. 
Mm. You know that you this. You know the church is a hospital. I keep telling you. Mm. What does that mean? Church so, is a hospital. Church is a hospital. That's where you go to heal. That's where you go heal. That's when you know that you're a whoremonger. That's when you know you're a thief. That's when you know you're a liar. You go to church to get healed and to be a better person. Whoremonger. So these people Seth. that sit there and sitting there, is, um, that should be the new man, villain in Black Panther. That's what the fuck they are supposed to be doing. <laughs> Yo, oh. whoremonger. Whoremonger. Okay, listen. I, I used now to be one. Now listen, bro. This is whoremonger. This is first. Yeah. Timothy 2, 8 through 15. I also want the women to dress modestly with decency and propriety. Okay. Adorning themselves, not with elaborate hairstyles okay. or gold or pearls Don't or expensive worldly. clothes, but with good deeds, appropriate Amen. for women who profess to worship God. A woman should learn in quietness, in full submission. Amen. I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. Because <laughs> but Adam was, was formed oh, first, then Eve. And Adam was not the one deceived. It was the woman who was deceived and became a sinner. But women will be saved through childbearing if they continue in faith, love, and holiness with propriety. That's why they ain't got to do all that, because they have childbearing. That's why they have um, periods and stuff like that. You, know, you want me to break it down to you? I got you. What are you talking about? You know what I'm saying? He said a woman will be saved through childbearing. So basically what they're saying is if a woman hasn't, bo ha hasn't given birth, then they're not worthy of being saved? What are you saying? I mean, they probably, if you know that a woman right now is pregnant, we'll do everything we can do for that woman if she's pregnant. Women will be saved through childbearing. What about the women who, who haven't had kids, Wax? What they, about they the women can who run. can't have kids? They, they, they can run. They don't need us to help them up the stairs. They don't need certain <laughs> things. You know what I'm saying? God. Like, what are you talking you about? Are you helping? Are you sound? helping? Uh, uh, you pregnant see how silly woman? that sounds? No, I'm just saying. Who you helping you first? You see how silly that sounds? Who you helping first, show? Nah, that was fire. fire. Nah, that was fire. Who you helping first, show? You see how silly that sounds? That was fire. You're basically saying that a woman. <laughs> but that's why, this, this, but this that's why we give women everything. Women that can't have children are less no, than. No, no, no. And not I, I don't, that's not saving. saying that. That's what you got from it. But I'm telling you and that. And don't you talk about it. Let's talk about that. Why every time we talk about the Bible, somebody says, no, you're misinterpreting it wrong. Maybe they should have wrote it better. <laughs> Maybe they should have wrote it no, clear. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Why you do we always read it? Gotta I'm telling you, when you read it, you they read, didn't read it over it, over They it didn't too. write it in English. Maybe in the original language, it was very clear and concise. And maybe the translation maybe, maybe. has no, made it. Maybe. You're right. No, you're right. A lot, a lot you're of right. things, a lot of things right. in the Bible, when you read it, if you didn't, you can't relate to it, you're going to look at it in any, a, a broad thing. But if you know something about that, if you live that, it's going to be so relatable to you, you know exactly what they're talking about. Taylor, if a man said to you, you need to learn in quietness and full submission, <laughs> that See, means that means once that again mean, you gotta mean, ask what the Bible scripture means. Hold on, I ask a question about that. Hold on, me too. When you in after school, you. do you learn by being loud and disrupting shit all the time? Thank you, or do you yeah, learn I'm going the same way. Go ahead, keep going. You can't be in full submission though. Why not? Of course, yeah. you in full submission. What are you talking about? You go to jail. No. Sit you, down. You're in full submission the to these these guards. In you jail, school, wax. Listen, what you school, saying? Wait a minute. Your your your, your uh, coach. You proving my sports, point by saying in, in jail. Sports, you prove my let's point. Let's go school. Let's just go school. Okay, okay. Full submission. Not full sports. submission. Army. Take a knee. You're not, you're not in full submission in school. Yes, you are. No, you, you need to be. No, but that's you how you need to be learn. listening and being disciplined. You learn in full submission. Yes. You don't have to be, but if you want to learn, then you submit yourself to what that teacher be got quiet. to say. This is fire. Keep this going. The, Keep going. Bible's fire. Is this for Mary? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah the Bible's I, I'm, fire. I'm biblical. The, the, listen, the Bible's <laughs> fire if you're misogynistic. And by the way, I'm not tripping. I'm just telling you that. And, and I, you, can, you can interpret these scriptures however you want. I'm just saying that I can see how women would interpret this as misogynistic. But why would they yes. be mad? You're telling these a, men are supposed to be there to take care of you. You're telling a woman how to dress? Yes. You're telling her how to dress modestly? Yes. With decency? Uh, every man tell yes. their woman that I don't you're, want you wearing that. You're telling her she can't have elaborate hairstyles? So I don't what? want you wearing that. I don't look, I don't, yes. I look good on you. you. Don't you always say, be natural? <laughs> Ladies, you be like your natural hair. Like you know, like you know, you know, like her you're telling, no. you you're you're telling her she can't have jewelry or expensive clothes. Yeah, them shits is expensive. Come on, what are you talking about? What God don't you agree with rigs. all the things he's saying Listen, right now? I, I do not permit a woman to teach or to assume authority over a man. She must be quiet. Go ahead and contradict yourself. Mm. What do you mean? Nah, he's I do not permit a woman to teach. Or to assume authority over a man, she must be quiet. What something? is a mother supposed to do can with I a son say, then? Can I say no, something? No, can I say something? Different. A son, yeah, not a man. I'm sure. A son's I'm sure a child. Exactly. Son, not a man. A son's a child. First second of all, talk second, to of all him, second of all, second of all, <laughs> second of all, second of all. You don't listen to your mom now? I listen to I got to. You don't listen? No, you shouldn't. The Bible says you shouldn't. 
are you talking the about? The Bible says a woman should not be able to teach or to assume authority over a man. You're a man. Stop listening to can your I, mom. Can I be honest? You're right. You always a child to your mom. Exactly. That's right. You, I'm you a mom. Is a child. child. That's bullshit. How? No. It's Wait, interpretation. Where is it for your wife? Right. 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 Show me the fine print. He's talking about for your wife. Show me where it says other than your mom. Yo, that last thing. I'm sure he's talking about his mom. Man just threw in. The rest of the stuff was Jesus. The he last did the other shit, path. exactly. Uh, you know, Jesus no look, wrote that whole shit, and it was like, quiet. "Tell these women shut up too." <laughs> yo, 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 tell them shut up as well. I got to put that in there. No, no, no Jesus, stuff. for real. Yo, yeah. come on, yo, come yeah. on, yeah. come on. Talk too much. Hey, wild and Mary <laughs> Magdalene. Remember her dinner? She was yapping nonstop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Don't you want her to be quiet a little bit? Let's just throw it in. Listen, what if this is freestyle? And what if that's Jesus sweet. was talking that's and he's trying to get these bars that's off and there was some mean. women in the corner that wouldn't hush. That's so it. he just said it. God said, yeah. <laughs> she <laughs> must Man, be quiet. That's it. She must be quiet, but please. You got, but you got to understand, they didn't have Motrin <sighs> and all this type of stuff when women had... <laughs> Back in the day. So when women had their periods back in the day, they probably did talk too much and all this other type of stuff because of the pain that they had. That's true. And now they pop in yo, Motrin, he wrote Ibuprofen. That before Motrin, bro. Even, you know yo, listen, he wrote that before listen, Motrin, yo. Listen, no, no. Charlamagne, you need to acknowledge <laughs> this. That was, written, that was written. That was written before Motrin. <laughs> Let these oh, girls Ivy walking around Bethlehem, blood dripping Woo! down their thighs and shit. They have That's pads? crazy, bro. Where the pads come from? Come on. They got to wipe their ass with the tissue. You can't use all that tissue. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. You got to think about the time this was written. You know, ain't paying attention. This one right here is wild. Yeah, go. Give us Adam, the wild one. Adam was not the one deceived. It was the woman who was deceived. It was. Yeah. Just put all the blame on her. It was She's her. her. She ate the, the woman. fucking apple. Chill. I Hold on. If you cheat, girl. Adam gave his whole rib up. Hold to on. have a girl, and then she sees one little apple and starts eating that shit. <laughs> you ask me. Wasn't even sharing. You ask me. Adam wasn't thorough. Hey. If you ask you me, girl, if you woman? ask me, Adam wasn't thorough. You be thorough because, with a woman? So hold on. You think Carla would listen to a goddamn snake over you? Mm. Maybe if you talk to your woman more and, and let your woman talk instead of telling her to be quiet, I'll be she wouldn't have you. to listen to a snake. I'll be honest with you. I think Adam had a little meat. <laughs> <laughs> because you're supposed to walk or, again. Or, there's or, only or, one snake in this house. The snake, <laughs> snake, snake might have been, the the might, might been his meat. Oh, May oh, I listen? Oh, oh, she was talking to it. Maybe. You, you two, uh, what is it? You two addicted to the dick. Hold on. That's, are we go, going to go, 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 go. Is this okay, guys? snake is Pete Davidson. <laughs> that big is ass this anaconda. Okay? That big ass anaconda. Talk to Eve. Eve is the lesson is, ladies, don't be addicted to the dick. <laughs> the lesson, be addicted to the man. Y'all love dicks so much. Stop <laughs> loving dicks all the goddamn time and love your man. And the apple was the balls. Listen, we putting all of this. We for years we put all this blame on Eve. When the reality is, Adam just didn't have her the way he thought he had her. Because why did she feel like she needed to go talk to a snake? Nobody should have been able to get up in Eve's well, ear all, all and, say, girl, and say, yo, don't listen to your man. What are you talking about? Girls cheat on their man all the time because of dick. Nah, you know what it is? This is what it is. This is when, when you're married and this, they, they need a lot of it, bro. This is them needing too much. This is them needing too much dick. Yeah, girls got a problem with dick, bro. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is them what? needing too you much dick. with dick, bro. That's what it is. Well... Yeah. Be prepared to have a snake get into your girl's ear. I'm sure they try. And tell your girl. What you mean try? Sure or, try. Oh, you think you better than Adam? No, I'm just saying. I'm sure they you try think to holler you can at my do girl. You think you I can get do... it. I know snakes try to holler at my girl all so, day. So if somebody hollers at your girl, right? Mm -hmm. Whose fault is that? If you're not doing something at home that you're supposed to be doing, and somebody take, gets at your girl, if, so your if, girl if, has if a weak if moment. It's my, if it's my fault, I take it. It's okay. like anything else in life. Yo, if it's her fault, she got to take it. Bro. <laughs> yo, brilliant Bible study, study yo, is brilliant is Bible study. Brilliant is Bible study. Shit. What else you got? What else you got? Give me another one. Give me another one, bro. That's so bad. Don't oh, break down the Bible about me. I love Christianity. Hold on. What else did I say? I said sexist. Yeah, real talk. I bet you got to understand. What's the greatest hit? What's the greatest hit in the Bible? Can you really sit there and listen? What? When they're on their period, can you really sit there and listen? Because you know they're not on their right mind. What does the Bible say about periods? That's interesting. About what? No, that's interesting. Let's see. What does the Bible say? That's why he didn't get them all of it. Because, like, listen, we got to put y'all to the side. Y'all have to have y'all periods. We know y'all not going to be in your right state of mind. Because y'all have to have the babies. We need y'all to go through this. Y'all have to take care of them. Make sure they good. What's wrong with that? Yeah, I think that everything. No, the Bible talks out. about menstruation, bro. Of course, the Bible talks about everything, dog. Wow, Leviticus twenty eighteen. If a man lies with a woman during her menstrual period and uncovers her nakedness, he has made 
naked her fountain, and she has uncovered the fountain of her blood. Both of them shall be cut off from among their people. I don't know what this means. I mean, I mean stop a lot fucking of, girls on their period, period bro. Oh, uh, duh. Yeah. You've done that before. We all have. Who liked it, though? Who really liked that blood you, shit? Yo, you, you realize that you, <laughs> there's at least, you've contra- everything in the Bible I, that you take. Why do you think God done. said forgiveness? He gave us so many things because he knew that we was going, we were born as sinners. Did, we was going to come through the, we were going to come through the canal and then we are going to see the sunlight. Sure, I don't want nobody else to go through Listen, the thing, but You don't no. think that's some bullshit, though? But how you get stronger without going through because, this, because, going through because, the struggle? Because in the world, we can't do that. We Why can't not? continue to fuck up, fuck up, fuck up, and just ask for forgiveness. Charlie, uh, that happens every day. They'll put you in jail forever. If you get caught. And then you get out. If you get caught. No, but then you get out eventually. What if they give you life? Because for what? It all depends they, on what you even, do. Even prison got a three strike law. And what you're talking about? Prison isn't Christian. Mm. Mm. He ain't got. I don't think he, none of this he, 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 he ain't Christian. We don't forgiven. even know who Christian is. <laughs> now all of a sudden you're about prison. God. Now it's a, you forgot Jesus the seventeen. Defund Christianity. Defund <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the church. This guy's <laughs> wild, bro. The church is right. I'm my time for thing. this week. You have to give us now. one thing what, what we disagree with. Your money. What do you mean? We That's need the other money. thing. What? Because you got to understand right now. What? 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 As being a pastor's son. Say what? As being a need money. I'm gonna tell you. As being a pastor's son. You said big churches. Who paying the light bill? What that got to do with God? I'm gonna tell you because this is His sanctuary. This is His hospital. This is where you the need Bible to go. The Bible says you cannot find God in any man-made temple. Exactly. Why not? Uh, it says that as so a scripture. So you right now, so you wouldn't want to go to the powder house and hear what TD Jakes. I have. love going to the powder. All right. So what are you what? talking about? When you I don't, don't want these lights to be on. When I donate money when to you the have, when you don't have the chicken and stuff. On at, Sundays at the end of when the I donate because I do donate to Bishop TD Jakes. Guess what I'm donating to? Who? Bishop TD Jakes in the powder house. But can I be? I would never say this is for God. God didn't say. No, 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 no. It don't. Well, no, but you know what you're doing. To God. This God, is the also, God didn't say, here's light. He said, let there be light. Pay the bill. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, pay he, the bill. You got to pay the bill. So let you need money to pay the bill. That's, yeah. right. that, that's what it's for. He was for, very clear man. about that. That's what it's for. A lot of things in the, in the neighborhood. Yo, this is, people don't understand church take care. They take care of a lot of people that is homeless and messed up and always need their light bill paid. Give me, give me they, a scripture. Yo, this is all I agree with. Go, give me one. I, I don't know which one. I, I, I There's literally not a single one. Leviticus 15, 19, 30. When a who woman, is Leviticus, bro? You don't know who that Leviticus is? Leviticus 15, no. 19, 30. I'll tell you right now. When a woman has a discharge <laughs> and the discharge in her body is blood, she shall be in her menstrual impurity for seven days. Yeah. And whoever touches her shall be unclean until the evening. You got blood and on you. everything on which she lies during her menstrual impurity shall be unclean. Everything also on which she shits shall be in, unclean. And whoever touches her bed shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in water and be unclean until the evening. And whoever touches anything on which she sits shall wash his clothes and bathe himself in the water and be unclean until the evening. Whether it is the bed or anything on which she sits, okay. when he touches it, he shall be unclean until the evening. What's Bro, the point of that? Uh, they had, didn't have paths back in the day. Yeah, but what's the point of that Blood scripture? is all over. This is a meaningless scripture. No, wow. this is the most meaningful. <laughs> Talk to me. It got all this blood yeah. all over the place. It's Everything not about she touched, the blood. got blood it's, on it. It's not about the blood. <laughs> what is it about? It's, it's about a little separation during their period. Seven days. Oh, you mean like don't be around the woman for That's seven days? That's all it is. Crazy. She can't got sit you. on nothing. Got you, got she can't you, got sit you. on nothing. She can't got lay you. on nothing, right? You can't even touch her. Everything about it. And also, you have to understand, the word unclean is different now than then. Unclean back in the day killed you. If water was unclean, you drank it, you died. Mm-hmm. If you got a wound infected, it, you died. Unclean, mm-hmm. I think you have to look at it as almost like will kill you. So if you replace those words, a woman sits on the this, she'll kill you. A blah, 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 she'll kill you. So now you take the woman who's on her period, you move her to a separate part of the community, right? <laughs> and then what did God do? God made them cycle so they're all together. So you just put this bloody cyclone to a different part of the cyclone. community, right? And then all the dudes kick it for a fucking week. Everybody that, hangs that out, is. talks story, drinks some We need some that away wine. from them anyway. Exactly, it's free time. This is fire, bro. Oh, bro, and guess what? J- just like you talk about the syncing up part, when they get together, they sync up. So it's a reason why God did that. Exactly. So they could be with one another. So we wow, only lose y'all one go week. over there. It's one week. Over, and then he gave us porn. Come on. <laughs> not yet. Really? Yeah. I was like, not, not yet. yet. Not the yet. Bible <laughs> frowns upon porn. Yeah, sir. it does. Yes. yes. Okay, you, give you, me another one, Sean. Like, I'm, I'm lo- everything looking, about this makes sense. I'm looking bro. for this one that I know right. you. I'm, I'm looking for this one that's that's that really slaps. Where is it at, man? She ain't, she ain't getting Who's it by, yet. though? Who's no, it by? No, because y'all have justified it. Y'all have justified a bunch of bullshit. You know what's it's crazy, not though? Instead of just admitting that the Bible is an outdated thing. No. And by the way, I don't no, care either way. outdated. I'm not talking about, think it is. Way, outdated. I don't care either way. I'm just saying by today's standards and what they cancel people for, there's a million things in the Bible. I don't I don't agree with all cancel the cancel. People I don't agree with so all the cancel your question. Stuff. You know how the women try Some to say that God is woman or woman is God, whatever? 
Who I said that? I don't think that's true. Some women be trying to say that. Women say that. Is that in the Bible? Because we're just going oh, off this the Bible. Is, no, no. Hold on. <laughs> it's the slapper. It's the okay, slapper. Our father. It's the slapper. We're charting in heaven. Our father. First Peter 2.18. Okay. St. Peter's writes, slaves. Okay. Be subject to your masters with all reverence. Okay. Not only to those who are good and equitable, but also to those who are perverse. Okay. Paul condemns enslavers with the sexually immoral abusers of themselves. Or, forget that one. But also to those who are perverse. So that means slaves have to love their masters. Okay. All right. Uh-huh. Have to be good to their masters, okay, and have to always do what their masters want, even if it's perverse. Who, 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 who is who is a master? How a master look? What are you talking about, slave? I'm just saying. So how a slave look? I'm Old a slave. White man. I'm, I'm a slave. To, I'm a slave to my girl. Man, knock it off. What are you talking about? First of all, I have to yeah. listen have to you, what the fuck she's saying. When you go home, I don't want when to. you go home tonight, I want you to watch Birth of a Nation, the Nat mm-hmm. Turner movie. I understand. Nat Turner was a pastor in Virginia who rebelled. Rebelled. That's cool. because he realized the slave master was using the Bible. To control the slaves. So mm-hmm. don't forget the perverse part. If you believe in the Bible, that means your slave master can fuck you in the ass. No. Why not? The Bible says you can. The Bible says you have to be equitable to your slave master, even if it's perverse. Wait, wait. Bend over, grab your Tim's wax. Nope, 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 nope. nope. Because <laughs> Help me putting a dick in an ass will send you to hell. Wait, wait, wait. You can't say? do that. What That's why it? the Bible's a contradiction. Uh, no, it's not. No, it, yes, it is. Hey, perverse doesn't mean that. Perverse could be a uh, perverse uh, working environment. This guy's unbelievable. Not actual sexual perverse. He only wanted to put oh, one about, thing okay, in his okay. name. That's also, it. by the way, and by the way, I have to understand what slavery was at that time. Uh, a lot of people, like he's saying, slaves to what? Are people slaves to their jobs right now. You know how I many people slaves? Why, why didn't Dave Chappelle? Don't he do said that. he was about to be a slave to his, jo- his job. That's, that, that's silly. It's so, you could be so many slaves to so many things. No, you can't. So you tell me, what do you mean you can't be slaved? No, you can't. People slave their self right no, now today. Cause, cause you you can, never slaved before. You can, you can huh? quit a job. I didn't work We're talking about slavery, this, whips, this chains, is, this is a butt tough one. breaking. This is a tough one. This is a tough one. <laughs> this is a tough one. This is a tough one. Now, here's the thing. I would, I would argue that this was at a time where that word was used for somebody who had a debt to be paid and they worked under someone in order to pay that debt. Mm-hmm. And then after paying that debt, then they were free to do whatever they want, depending on the length of that debt. Mm-hmm. And I think there are stories in the Bible about that. Oh, for five years, I had to do this to pay that. Now, I don't those, know anything about that. I think it's still like that because you got a boss at work. And you got to listen to him. That's not a slave, bro. What is that work? You got a job. Well, you you got to listen leave. to your... Stop disrespecting you have your, your ancestors. Freedom. Exactly. Yeah, like, you, 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 can, you, you can free... I think okay. you have to listen to somebody and you don't well, want to. Well, give us to. another one, Charlotte. I think, I think that's a slave. <laughs> Come on. No, because like, the one I really want to give... <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to hear y'all's explanation. Wait, which one? You know, we about to rip yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give no, that one. Rip, rip it give up. That one. Give no, that one. Give that one. We can cut. <laughs> no, you not. We can cut it. We can cut rip it. Rip that. We can cut it. No, you we not. can cut it. We can cut it. I don't want to even do it. Okay, let's pay some bills. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Okay, oh, that I has been. Piss. Hey, that has been brilliant, idiots. Bible study. Join us. <laughs> <laughs> we gotcha. might do this once a month. <laughs> All right. I'm paying okay. my tithes and offers early this week. All right. Uh, most in course. These days, everything is go, 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 all right? It's nothing but nonstop hustle all the time. Work, friends, family, a million pressing social issues, and an expectation to be on 24-7. Sometimes you just need a moment to turn off and hit reset. That's when you reach for Coors Light. It's made to chill, okay? There's only one beer out there that's literally made to chill, and that's Coors Light. The mountains on the bottles and cans even turn blue when your beer is cold. If you've ever even held a can of Coors Light, you realize how how cold Coors gets. Very refreshing. Uh, That way... You always know when it's time to chill, okay? Because it gets so cold that it turns blue. When you need to hit reset, just open a Coors Light. It's Mountain Cold Refreshment made to chill. Mountain Cold Refreshment made to chill. Coors Light is cold, layered, cold, filtered, and cold packaged. It's literally made to chill. It's just crisp and refreshing as the Colorado Rockies. Perfect for a moment to unwind. Uh, salute to all my people in Monk's Corner, South Carolina. You know, anywhere in South Carolina. Monk's Corner, Hugh G, <laughs> like St. Stephen. I guarantee you, you drive through any of those country neighborhoods, you're going to see people fresh off work, sitting under that tree, cracking open a cold cause oh, light. Day long. Guaranteed. All right? Cause light is the one I choose and I need to unwind. Uh, what, what, what my people do. So when you want to hit reset, reach for the beer that's made to chill. Get cause light in the new look delivered straight to your door with Drizzly or Instacart by going to causelight.com slash idiots. Celebrate responsibly with cause light. Coors Brewing Company, Golden, Colorado. And today's show is brought to you by Squarespace, okay? 
domains, websites, online stores, marketing tools. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform to build a beautiful online presence and run your business. You'll find what you need, whether you're showcasing your work, blogging and publishing content, selling products and services, announcing upcoming events, or anything you can dream of, okay? Buying a domain from Squarespace is easy because there are no hidden fees or price hikes and get to know your audience with their analytics tools. Those include insight on page views, traffic sources, time on site, audience geography, and more. It's also simple too. Start with a design template and use drag and drop tools to make it your own. All websites are optimized for mobile. Your site looks great on any device. Every Squarespace website and online store comes with a suite of integrated features and useful guides that help maximize prominence among search results. These SEO tools are paramount. Head to squarespace.com slash idiot for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, use the offer code idiot to save 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. That's squarespace.com slash idiot with offer code idiot for 10% off your first purchase. Now let's get back to the show. Uh, do we have church announcements? Wax, you got yes, church sir. announcements? Um, I believe this week, at the end of the week, I'll be on 85 South Show. Oh, um, couple weeks we, are, we are doing the... Um, you know, represent for our, our show. We have our live show on February 5th at Caveat in New York City. Um, you know, go to Eventbrite and go to Brilliant Idiots and, uh, you know, go and check that out. Uh, over in LA, I have my Who's Wax. Go to Who's Wax dot com and go to your nearest dispensary out there in LA. And I just now went on 85 South talking about the the airsoft, me and Jack Thriller got a game next weekend uh, fighting against each other. All the other podcasts out there, y'all start finding out who y'all want to fight against, man. Start getting some teams. Alex, go get a team. You know what I'm saying? Find out who you want to fight against and let's make this happen. I got flagrant. All right, flag- you got flagrant? Flagrant, who you want to fight against? Who you flag- flagrant want to fight against? <laughs> who would y'all fight against? I don't know. I don't know. I have to think about that. Yeah, come on, man. Let's get these teams, man. Let's make it be like the new verses out here. This would be way better. You know what I'm saying? So... Yes, my announcements, brother. My uh, church announcements are simple. Go to blackeffect.com. Make sure you download and subscribe all to all the podcasts on the Black Effect. I got to salute uh, the Reasonably Shady podcast, you know, Giselle and Robin. Uh, they were nominated at the NAACP Image Awards. Let me see what the category was. The category was Outstanding Arts and Entertainment Podcast. So salute to Reasonably Shady. Uh, Giselle and Robin, they got nominated. And I got to salute uh, the homie Michelle Williams. Her podcast, Checking In, was nominated at the NAACP Awards for Outstanding Lifestyle Self-Help Podcast. So make sure you subscribe to both those podcasts. Congratulations to both those podcasts. And make sure you go out there, man, um, and grab Tamika Mallory's State of Emergency, How to Win, and the Country We Built on Black Privilege Publishing, and grab Anita Kopak's, uh Shallow Waters also on Black Privilege Publishing, and make sure you scream The God's Honest Truth on Paramount Plus, my late night talk show. The whole first season is up there on Paramount Plus. Paramount Plus is the shit. Paramount, Paramount Plus, Plus is Plus popping. Is the shit. I'm not gonna lie. I've been watching Yellowstone on you that fuck with shit. Fuck Yellowstone, huh? Dude, yeah. I mean, it's just really fun. It's great. It's Succession, but like uh, in Montana. Mm. And I think it exposes Succession in a lot of ways. Like, Succession is great acting, great writing, but at the end of the day, it's like a bunch of billionaires that pretend to have problems, and it's just like, just leave. You take your inheritance. Yeah. If your day is hard, <laughs> just leave. Go, you go anywhere in the world. Yeah. Yeah. Mars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go to the Bahamas, enjoy your life. Like, go anywhere in the world, and then just don't put up with that My drama hookers. if it's so bad. You're choosing to be there. Yeah, I've watched the episode of Succession, a couple of them. I didn't like it, only because for the same reason you just said, because it's like, that's unrealistic. Because that's you, know, you know what I would like to see, and maybe they do explore this in other episodes, I don't know. It just shows... You can't run from yourself, and it shows that money don't make you happy. Mm. So whatever you, what, true happiness is internal. Mm-hmm. So you can have all yeah. the money in the world. I haven't even seen Yellowstone, but from what you're saying, it sounds like it's just a bunch of people enjoying nature. No, it's like a basically a soap opera, like high stakes drama. They they have this massive ranch in Montana, and and basically it's like uh, everybody wants to take that land from them. Yeah, yeah, you know? yeah. And there's some white folks that took it from some Native Americans back in the day. And yeah. the Native American dudes are trying to take it back. These other land developers from California are trying to encroach on their shit. And it's like mm-hmm. the wild stuff that they have to do to protect this land. And the land that they essentially have is the size of Rhode Island. It's like the biggest private wow. ranch. And they don't make no money on it. They yeah. just have billions of dollars worth of actual fucking property. Yeah. And, oh. But they... Their only value is in that property. So everybody's trying to find ways to screw them out of it. And they got to do fucked up gangster shit to like keep it. And it's just a cool for me. I hate 
worlds that I'm familiar with. Like the succession shit, like a bunch of white people in corporate America in New York, New York. City. Like I've been New seeing York. it. Mm-hmm. Like I love Sopranos is great, but like I grew yeah, up like with it. these dudes. The mafia, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like, but Literally that like horse that. riding Montana shit? All right. That's a new world. Let's no. just, let's enjoy it. I'm with you. I'm with you. The name don't slap though. Because I think Yellowstone Park. Yeah, I the think name Yogi is a little Bear. Weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I'll be with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No slap. Yep. What's yep. your church announcement, Schultz? Oh, uh, Infamous Tour. Cali, we coming, man. Uh, we'll be there this month. Um, I think there's tickets left for Coachella, right? So Oxnard sold out. Uh, Brea is sold out. I think Coachella and San Jose. Go check those out. Uh, maybe a few tickets left for Sacramento. Um, DeandreSchultz.com for all the rest of the cities. Tour is going through the end of April, man. The door dates are already set. Nothing else added. So if you want to see the Infamous Tour, you got to get one of these dates and um and yeah man we'll see you go, radio city music hall that's gonna be fucking wild radio man city. Well, radio city. so uh right, right. so yeah so check out theandrewshows.com go get those tickets before they're gone in the places radio where city we there, bro Say, ah, no we ain't never radio good city shit, good shit we're gonna cook up some fun stuff for radio city man all right what do we want to touch on um uh i thought kanye's bar to pete was corny as hell <laughs> Whack. I like that. It. it was corny. I mean, I like that a little bit. I didn't like really. It. Yeah, it's just he's showing little balls. You guys choose something. You what happened what? to Jesus? I like uh, Jesus. And I love. What happened Jesus. to God? Yeah, it is, but you, you weren't even cursing but, on your but, records, and now but, all of a sudden you want to beat up Pete Davidson. But, but that's what I'm saying. It's like you see, you see the guy who's always nerdy, but he's talented. And everybody love him. Then mm-hmm. you know, you see the church guy who's played the piano. Now he out there bucking back at the guy. He's like, I didn't. You, I didn't see a little, you see the nerdy guy want to get a little tough. You don't think that's cool? I don't believe it. That's why it's cool. It's funny. We don't believe. I want to see the entertainment. Oh, you don't believe you can take Pete? I don't believe that he'll do it. Famous <laughs> people don't fight, bro. No. Nah. He just punched somebody. He paid that motherfucker. Like, <laughs> that, <laughs> and, yo, by the way, it's cr- like everybody believes like Jake Paul, uh, what's his fate? Tyron Woodley is rigged. Everybody believes Logan Paul, Floyd Mayweather, Mayweather is rigged. And then Kanye punches a fucking paparazzi. <laughs> and you don't think that's rigged? <laughs> Like, that's yeah, real. Goddamn that's minds, real. Bro. Like, of course. I was shocked that Kanye uh, went on Jason Lee, salute to Jason Lee and Hollywood Unlocked. I was shocked that he went on there and admitted it. Because mm. I was like, shit, yeah. you admit that shit on me. I'm going back to the scene of the crime and I'm going to lay back down on the right. ground where you hit me. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm trauma there. right I'm here. There. That's going to cost him a couple of dollars. But he got it. He got it. You know what I mean? I, don't care about that. I just, I just, I just, I just thought the line was corny. You know what I mean? And, and for me, it's like uh, I think about what he said on Drink Champs when he said um, he, he used all the backpackers. Remember, he was like, oh, I used all the backpackers. I never really liked backpack rap. Yeah. And then you see him hanging out with, like, a lot of the street rappers now. He's hanging out with all these guys just to be able to say that line. <laughs> you know <laughs> what I mean? But I want all those street rappers to know he's using y'all, too. But yeah. the difference is yeah. the street rappers aren't going to be used. Yeah, yeah, They're going to keep their hand yeah. in Kanye West pockets because yeah. wolves do not make good house pets. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, and, and you, Kanye West will learn that. And you see yeah. what happened to 6 9 6 9 learned that the hard way. Wolves don't make good house pets. I don't care. You think you're using them Rats for your own. Either. That's right. You, you, <laughs> you think you're using them for your own personal gain. Yeah. No. Right no. Now? No. They're coming back for you're that You're going to be doing more concerts. <laughs> 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 and you're going to be on more songs. Birthday you know party, I mean? sweet 16. That's right. That's right. Oh, you will right. use you up, That's baby. Right. Yeah. That's right. You'll be so, the two face, baby. You no, know, good luck. That's all I can Look tell that. you. And yeah. I don't even wish people good luck because I don't believe in it. <laughs> good luck. You know what I mean? But um, are you going yeah, tired of the antics? It seems like you're a little tired of the antics. Uh, I've been tired of it. Yeah, I've been tired. I don't think it's antics. I mean, anybody who have a, a, a baby mom and you got a new boyfriend, you always going to throw a couple of stabs at him until you got finally have a beer and chill out. But it's okay for for Kanye to do this. He's a he's still a human. And that, it, listen, you're absolutely right. He can do whatever yeah, he wants. He's, that's you know the, what I mean? He's and, around his kids. He don't like this man right now. He's fucking his wife, not his yeah, girlfriend, yeah, not his yeah. ex. Well, his ex-wife. That's his no, ex. No, no, it's it his wife ex. though. It's his ex. It's it's official, ex. Yeah. It is his ex-wife. But it's his wife though. Once you kiss somebody, ate their pussy, it's like I almost <laughs> love you forever. He's fucking other girls too. <laughs> ah, man, can fuck a girl, but you like he did all that nasty <laughs> stuff to her, knowing she have a period. Come on, bro. What? He ate a pussy before. You must be reading out the book of Yeezus, because I ain't even... What are you talking about? Where did this come from? Like, this just went left for no reason. Like, what What? What? Are, what are you talking about? I'm just I just saying, think it's he's corny. Still and, and also, too, it's just like, you know, once again, when you're privy to other information, you know what I mean? Like, I'm, we're not on the outside looking in and just seeing what people know on social media. Yeah. Like, we talk to these people, and we yeah. know it's just silly. It's just all silly. And yes, it does get exhausted, and yes, it gets tiresome. 
And you know, and Pete ain't worrying. I send everybody healing energy. Pete is living his best life. I say Pete right. is Pete yeah. is having a ball. Yeah, Chill out. all right. Yeah, <laughs> Pete Chill right. Pete. BDD is out here. Got you back. Big D- <laughs> Davidson. Okay. Nothing all right. We know who the snake is. We know who Eve is, and we know where the snake lies. That snake is hanging. Right. <laughs> right. That snake is hanging off Pete's body, whispering in Eve's ear. Right. Eat the apple. Eat the goddamn apple. Okay. <laughs> I'm sending everybody healing energy in this situation. Um yeah. uh, I like the Jay Z Meek Mill thing. Did you see that? Where Jay Z and Meek Mill are um they're 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 fighting. I don't know if they're fighting, I don't know what you actually call it, but they're doing something to where they don't want rappers' lyrics used in court anymore. Yeah. What's the exact headline? They don't want rappers. Oh lyrics. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like uh, it, it shouldn't be used as evidence. It, it should be inadmissible. Be I um, yeah. what is it? Yeah, Jay Z, Meek Mill, and more push for a law to prevent lyrics from being used in court against rappers to prove guilt. Okay, that's not cool. Here's my thing. So many other things, families. How about? Let's tell rappers number one. Let's let's tell people not to commit crimes. That's number one. Yeah. Number two. Let's tell them not to rap about it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't tell on yourself. Like, like if I do yeah. something and then I get on a record and rap about it, you know, that's an admission of guilt. I'm incriminating yeah. myself. Why wouldn't I use that in court if I'm a lawyer trying to win a case? That's that's like yeah. Jay Z and Meek Mill telling the courts like whatever you hear on these cell phones after they make a drug deal. They can't don't don't lock them up for it. It's pretty much kind of the same shit. thing. Like yeah. it's all incri- it's all incriminating. Tell like, them to stay off the phones. Like you're supposed to do OGs. Like yeah, you got so many other things out here to I agree. play to go after. Yeah, they you just can't want make a rule to stop people from being stupid. <laughs> no, <laughs> right? Bro. You're just you're dumb. Right. Like you killed somebody and then you wrap you up killing it. somebody and then you're and you do it because you know that there's going to be clout attached to it. Yeah, right. And now all of a sudden you're upset that the police also more found SoundCloud. Yeah. And yeah. then you're going to go to jail. Yeah, I'd like to hear more about the thought process behind this because, you know, a lot of it has to, you know, even go to the blame of rappers because the thing about rap is, like, your lyrics are supposed to be real. There was a point in our culture we would I shame it. people I got for not having real lyrics. I'm even on record as saying I like my gangster rappers to do gangster things. In yeah. hindsight, it's the stupidest shit in the world yeah. to say and it's the stupidest shit to encourage. But we did. So what happened was you had all these dudes in the street like, oh, these motherfuckers, Ain't even doing this shit for real. We out here really doing it. So let's get on here and talk about our real lives. And now those are the people getting jammed. Up. I could I could put a stop to all this immediately. Mm-hmm. Um, hold record labels accountable uh, accessories. as accessories, accessories after the fact. That's right. Now, they might not go to jail for it, but there'll be something. And if you know about a murder, you know about a robbery, you know about all these things that really you did happen. they funded it? No, no, no. You just know about you it. You got the information. They were, you, they, they were recorded at your studio. That's right. And you, you heard the song before everybody else. You heard it before everybody Why else. Why didn't you call McGraw? You call the police. That's right. Call Crime Stoppers. Call Crime Stoppers. Oh, What's the so, fucking dog name? snitching you do that. Crime? You do that, that whole gangster genre is now, done. But they're snitching out. Game them, so over. Somebody gonna kill them. Or, well, I'll say this real quick, just to finish. Or you, or you're only ar- allowed to rap about fake shit because if it's fake, you could put it out there. And I'm fine with that. If if rappers Hopefully. from day one always said this is just entertainment, we're fictional storytellers. None of this is true. Because let's be clear, like country music, like like country music. Let's be clear. All them stories ain't happened. I kicked the maybe they line. did, but even if they did. They're not acting like it was real. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're they not dance t- with it, though. I they- mean, they are. Country people, the country music, they're like, yeah, I got in a bar fight and did a thing, blah, 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 blah. Maybe there was some sort of fight or Johnny whatever. Cash talked about clapping somebody, I think. Really? Yeah, yeah, this is a Johnny Cash song. I think I remember him saying. Oh, wow, boy. He talked about clapping somebody. Wow, he's probably performing for that motherfucker in that jail. <laughs> 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 he's singing a song about him. But point is, if you commit a crime, don't get on a record and rap about yeah, it. Yeah, don't even talk about it. It's, it's, it's totally fair. out of your brain. What's Anything that? I That's did before, fair. Because when, you when you were younger, you wanted your gangster rappers rapping real shit. And you, you say now no that's better. stupid, but can the younger generation have their... No, not when they're getting no. locked up for it. No, why? Because the consequences Cause, cause, is too much. That's right. And it goes back to what I said. The generation before us, they were entertaining. 95% of that shit they was talking about was bullshit. It wasn't, it wasn't true. It we absolutely that. was. That's why Chris Rock made CB4 back in the day. Because yeah, they knew, knew that these was dudes bullshit. was faking. Nine, like literally 95% of it was it. lying. I don't think. I believe I'm sure. I'm sure you least, did. At least 85% of it for sure. But what happened was these real dudes on the sideline 
saw these people rapping Coming about their the life and they decided to jump in the game. Why you talk about their real the life? Same thing over and over and over again. That's right. And now you're rapping no more. And they start they getting jammed up. Like literally, yo, there's I'm not gonna name some of these people, but there's literally cases where guy puts guy pays his man to go kill a rival mm. and then raps about the rival getting killed and his man who he paid to kill him. And Good all job. of them get picked up by the Fed. Like, it's literally like that Key and Peele sketch. Yeah. It's, it's literally like the Key and Peele yeah. sketch. There were a lot of rappers uh, we grew up with that said, oh, they get their inspiration from people around them. They rap about some of the stuff going on that the people around them are doing. The kids are doing the same shit? No. I mean, yeah. they are, but yeah. some of them are actually doing these crimes. I Listen, I believe rap is entertainment. I don't believe people should be jammed up for their rap lyrics. But if you commit a crime and, you tell and then I hear a record <laughs> and you admit to this crime that you committed, not even on some generic, like, I walk in the club and kill people. I'm talking about this person yeah, yeah. killed this person John on this block Billy while this person was King wearing this Boulevard shirt. With a red you got to go to jail. Yeah. You're going. Which, right. which is, ha- which, by the way, which has happened, <laughs> yeah. which is, makes it crazy. Yeah. How would ago. Meek Mill and Jay-Z feel if somebody wrote a song uh, killing someone they loved? and People want to use that that's as right. evidence to that's put right. that person in jail. Right. Would they also keep that same energy? Would they be like, no, nah, we don't use rap? So I think right. you should leave this one alone. They should yo, leave this one alone. In this era, so many of, other of, things to help out with. This yeah. era, we smoking on such and such, and we smoking on this person, we smoking on this person. These kids are literally making songs about the people that they're killing. Yeah. yeah. Like literally, there was yeah. this whole thing coming out of Florida where these guys were like rapping over like pop songs. And like, and these songs yeah. are huge. Mm-hmm. Slap. But yeah. allegedly, this is really shit that's going on in the street, and the police even know about it. Yeah, one yeah. one of the young boys took three three um, perks or something like that and almost died, and he did it because of the song. You know what I'm saying? He just wanted to be cool. Mm. And we asked him, like, what the fuck made you do this? Oh, he thought that these motherfuckers really that's doing the songs, really popping all these perks and shit, and well, drinking lean different. and all that type of shit. But all that shit sounds no, that's like different. I get what you said, but you're, what you're talking about right now is influence. I'm talking about actually... Committing a crime that was and then going on the record and rapping about that crime. You know, you know why that that was influenced too because influence they killed that different. because they seen Fifty Cent get shot and then he start he blew up. Other people killed somebody and then got blew up. Like, oh damn, that's what it, that's what I got to do. These people influence these motherfuckers to do dumb shit and they ain't even really doing. Yeah, it. but it's a difference though. I can't use none of that in court. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm just saying they, they, don't, they ain't really do it back lyric. in the day. They, they ain't really do it back in the day. And this guy ain't really smoke, uh, smoking lean and taking three perks. He's killing people and they taking perks because they, they yeah that's all influence. I agree with that. That's all influence. I think this is separate from this this though because it's literally if you incriminate yourself on a record, it can be used in court. It's really just that simple. Because what because they would do it if you wrote a letter, they would do it if it was a phone tap conversation. You, you just know put what music I'm behind it so you don't use. That's it. right. Don't do that, man. It's the same shit. <laughs> <laughs> let's do some uh let's do some asking idiots, Taylor. So, Eric. R. Tinnick wants to know what are your what are you still trying to prove to yourself or others? What am I still trying hmm. to prove to myself or others? Hmm. I'm not trying to prove nothing to nobody yeah, else either. at up. all. Like zero. That's always been a problem. That's always been you know <laughs> a problem, problem growing up. Yeah, the problem growing up is you always want to prove something to other fuck. people. At this point in my life, I ain't trying to prove nothing to nobody yeah. at all. What am I trying to prove to myself? Hmm. Mm, that's a good one. That's an interesting question. I guess um, I'm still living it, you know. Yeah. Because you know you 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 you're 43. You're a father. You know you're a, a husband, and you know you're 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 living out your your wildest dreams. So you just want to prove to yourself that you're everything you always thought you were. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know I what I mean. That. That's all. I just want to continue um, to prove to myself that I'm everything I've always believed myself to be everything I've always envisioned myself to be I'm doing and I just want to continue to do it on a on a high level yeah I want to tell myself um it's not as bad as it seems it's not as good as it is so just keep me balanced and keep going my daddy always that's said what you, I always take that from you when my you daddy always that. says that you're never as good as they say you are you're never as bad as they say mm. you are yeah. prove to myself or others You've been looking in the mirror a lot lately. What the bro. fuck is going on, man? You're trying to prove something to yourself. <laughs> like, like, you've been looking you in the mirror a lot. You to yourself. Like, Yo, like a lot. I you can't know what it is? is? It's like, I feel so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'll look in the mirror and I'll be like, yeah, <laughs> I was right. 
You know what I mean? Uh, I'm going to tell saying. you. You, you know not? what I'm saying? <laughs> Shit. Nah, nah. Kind of uh, I, I just be? got a new haircut yeah. and I'm trying to... <laughs> <laughs> I think, yeah, I think I'm trying to convince myself. So I go back to this yeah, motherfucker. Yeah, we got this. <laughs> you still got hair on my head. Yeah. Motherfuckers ain't walking by like, yo, nice cut. Like, yeah, exactly. <laughs> Fuck, they, see, they don't see what I see? <laughs> <laughs> they don't see what I see. <laughs> no, but that is a good question. That's what do you prove question. to yourself? I, uh, I don't know. Yeah. Prove to yourself. I think. I mean, I could be wrong, but I think that I think the same might apply to you. I think you're proving to yourself that you were right. Yeah. Yeah, that's a good way. But yeah, because it's like... it's that's satisfying. In order for us to do these things, we need to believe in ourselves. Yes. Mm -hmm. So it's like a... It's... Yeah, 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 yeah. So th that's a better way to put it. Put it Because it's not like I don't believe in myself and I'm like, let me try to. It's I believe in myself and now I'm proving that I was, was right. Yes, yes. Every yes, step. Yes. Every step too because we got, you don't know how far a guy actually going to take us. But that's real. Wherever we at right now, if you made yeah. one step into yeah. this, you already start winning, man. Yeah, I told you. I said it. I said it last year. I was like, "Yo, you know, you've been watching. You've been watching all of us on this journey for so long. But just imagine where we'll be in ten years." And so for me, that's my thing. Like, just constantly proving that you over know, and over we again. are who we've always said we are, and we are who we believed us ourselves to be. Yeah, and we keep proving our ourselves right because we're gonna always have doubters like that's what yeah. the world they, is they there they there for a reason there's yeah. nobody by the yeah. way there's there, you show me who gets positive reinforcement <laughs> yeah <laughs> other yeah. than from their people yeah it's gonna always be somebody telling you you ain't shit you ain't shit you, you need that this, you can't do this you need it. you're not this you're not that like yeah okay nice. you don't want no cool. smooth road yeah, you'll fall asleep true. huh you don't want no smooth road you'll fall asleep yeah that's interesting you need some turns you need some bumps yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep you on some, your toes keep yeah, you on your yeah. shit man yeah. i don't want nothing smooth yeah I don't care if you love me too much. My girl coming to the house, uh, my girl love me too much. Fuck I, um, that. What happened? No, I, I want all that love. Fuck all that. I, was, eh, I get I'm it, but eh, all right. I was talking about that because, you know, I was saying 2022 is the year of boundaries, right? Meaning, like, you know, you really got to set your boundaries in order to find peace. Like, I think sometimes we accept too much from people. Mm. Like, you know somebody ain't good for you. Mm. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know he's you know, that money for crack. Things not good for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. we still accept them for whatever reason, because out of habit or because we feel like we should. It's like, no, yeah. set your boundaries. And, and be unapologetic about setting your boundaries. Because I'm at the point in my life where if I don't trust exactly. you or if I don't feel safe around you, can't be in my life. Yeah. Nope. You know what I mean? I got to trust you. I got to feel safe. Fuck comfortable. We use that word a lot, yeah, but the around. devil can make us comfortable. That's his job. The, that's his job. Interesting. The worst thing. Sleep. Yeah, it, yeah, the worst thing. Mm -hmm. When people are trying to get you, they want to make you comfortable. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's why, yeah. I'm like, yo, let me talk to you for a second over here. You know, hey, yo, come, yo, yo, um, come over here for a second. I want to holler at you. Yeah, because mm -hmm. they're trying to make themselves feel comfortable so they can do what they do to you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's like, nah, fuck Walk all that. Corner with me. I don't want to feel comfortable. I want to feel safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and trusted. I want, I want to trust you and I want to feel safe. If I don't trust you and I don't feel safe, nah. You hear him, TSA? I'm <laughs> not going in the back room. Whoa. <laughs> what? Say, I want to feel safe. Like we'll we'll, we'll, we'll find you right here. You know where we are? <laughs> you want to fly or you want to go home? That's right. You want to fly? <laughs> Give us another one, Taylor. Um, <laughs> you want to fly? <laughs> For Lexan, bro, I'm gonna just say it like that. Um, if you had the option to mechanically enhance your body, what would you do to it? If I do what now? If you had the option to mechanically enhance your body, what would you mechanically? Do? How can you me mechanically enhance? Like your make body? your feet bigger, make your hands bigger. I would think this something like girls I'm do. I'm thinking he like was saying like bigger. in a way like like a metal arm or something and have it do something. That's what I was thinking. Oh, mm. uh, I would take an adamantium skeleton. A I'll what? take that. I a mean, what? we mechanically enhance our body all the right. time. Like, this phone yeah, is we... mechanically enhancing our mind. Like, it keeps all the information that we need. It allows us to is remember Is it really everything. mechanically enhancing our mind, though? Uh, okay, let me take that my back. Memory it's not enhancing it, but it's replacing okay. it in a yes. better way. It's got all the answers, all the information. But that used to be in, in our brain. Way? No is it better? Is it better? used to be smarter, bro. It, it is a better version of, of storing information than just remembering it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yo, we like, understand everything in our phone, though, Schultz. I, we, we know everything in our phone. No, no, I know. Listen. Okay, so there's two There's two discussions here. Like, one is more philosophical. Like, is this hurting us or is this helping us? And then the other one is just, like, as, like, a data storage system. It's really efficient. 
Like as a data store, it's just one hundred percent. We appreciate just like looking the best in there. Ever. Like you haven't spoken someone two yes. years, you type their name yeah, there. Right. But yes. then we go, does this reduce our overall happiness? Which I think one hundred percent. So it's like finding that balance. I think our cognitive dissonance too, though. I yeah. really do. I think our cognitive thinking skills, everything. I really do. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I really so, do. Yeah, Fuck yeah, yeah. Because even when you have conversations with kids, and I be like, let me look it up. Back yeah. in the day, man, we used to let this we shit know fly. I love, it. Had it. I love that. Why I love do I have it. to go on the phone and get misinformation? Yeah. We've been, just, we've been putting out misinformation on Brilliant Idiots for years. <laughs> Mark, Jeez. Mark, quick. Mark, Mark says something funny when we we're talking about misinformation, and it's like, uh, why are you assuming it's gender? <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Why can't it be Mr. Information? You know what I mean? Like, oh my God. Yeah. That's a good one, Mark. Mark, you know that's a good one. Why the ladies always gotta that be wrong? Like, yeah. he, he, <laughs> he, why women amazing. always gotta be wrong? Yo, you know what I mean? Why Eve one. always out here? That's the slapper. <laughs> that's the slapper. Yeah, that's period. the slapper. <laughs> Give us another one. Um, well, I don't know if y'all discussed it before. Did y'all watch Spider Man? A lot of them want to know how y'all feel about it. Oh, yeah, let's talk about it, man. Like, did y'all watch Spider Man? Yo. First of all, uh, that movie is phenomenal. Really? Tom Holland is phenomenal. Zendaya is phenomenal. Yes. Um, the fat uh, Hawaiian kid is, is great. Who, who who did this? Who keep doing this? That's Spider Man. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Because I just keep seeing this everywhere. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> one day in Atlanta, TSA, bro. bro. <laughs> one day in Atlanta, he got guys he was spitting there on too. him. Yeah. He, got, he keeps seeing this everywhere. Uh, <laughs> From what angle do you see? Yeah, exactly. They just see it. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> um, Spider Man. <sighs> yeah, you didn't like it. I love it was cool. Oh, I thought it was so it good. Was, but it, all of that best Marvel you. movie of all time, everybody relax. I thought okay. it was. I, I, you know what's weird is I don't even rank the Spider-Man movies with the Marvel movies. Like Spider-Man to me is his own franchise. Great trilogy. Yeah, it's just like I, I thought it was great, and it was one of those things where like I want to see more of it. I think people got more excited over the cameos, which were great, and they have great to make cameos. a decision to make those cameos, and they have to find a way to make them make sense. Like they just have done a phenomenal job. I didn't love the story. Really, I didn't love. The story. Why? Like, I thought it, I just I just thought it was like more uh more hype than actual like great storytelling. But what I about, enjoyed it though. Yeah, yeah. I thir- I enjoyed the movie, but I I I enjoyed it for the Daredevil cameo and seeing Tobey Maguire come out and Andrew Garfield. And actually, I didn't really like them just stepping out of the portals like that. That was lazy. That was almost almost as bad as DC introducing the Justice League in the email. I'm like, can I get a little bit something else other than fucking Andrew Garfield just stepping out of a portal because Ned learned magic for the first time? Right. Toby stepping out of a portal because Ed learned magic. Ned yeah. learned magic for the first time. You know I what I mean? I got you. Like, so you could have introduced them in a more clever way. I think that's yeah. fine. I just thought that it was interesting, like, the way that they played off of the different Spider-Man, the way that, like, they closed up certain storylines that we need a little bit of closure mm-hmm. with. And, like... The way that they portray Spider-Man, I think, is so interesting. Where he's just this regular dude that's trying to do what's right. Like, the dude ain't even rich. Like, he's really just a regular-ass dude from Queens trying to Mm -hmm. save the people from his neighborhood, even. Like, he's not even going to Manhattan. It's your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. He comes to Manhattan when he wants to swing from shit. Yeah. Right? Like Big buildings. I I just, I I love that idea. Like, you're there for the neighborhood. You are there to help your people. The street-level Spider-Man is going to be awesome moving forward. What's that? Like, when it's... Because, you know, now he's just back Spider-Man. Like, you know, it's not the Iron Spider with the Tony Stark suit. You know, people don't I thought, know. I people, thought they left him the suit or something. Remember? Nah, people don't know him. Oh, oh, God. I'm sorry. I thought you were talking they about. They just know him thing. as Spider-Man. Like, he don't he don't have access to the Stark technology and all of that stuff no Holy more. Holy shit. So now it's going to be back Nobody in Nobody knows street. him. Yeah. I just got goosebumps. They just know him as Spider-Man. They don't know him oh. as Peter Parker. So he's like reintroducing himself all over again. It's going to be interesting. But what a beautiful sacrifice. Clark. Like, I just thought that was awesome. Like, it, there's something the so selfless about that character. We love that character. It's always put in these positions where it's always the people first. And I, I understand that's what a hero is. Mm-hmm. But like, he embodies that shit. And uh, I know it's so silly to talk about a cartoon like this, but maybe in the same way we talk about these like Bible stories is like sometimes the stories mean more than the actual characters in Spider-Man. It's like, what is the right thing to do in it's, that situation? It's one he line. He saved his fucking friends. It's one line. He so saved their, their dream, man. With great power comes great responsibility. Facts. That's literally all it, it, it summed up. Only thing I didn't like, they gave credit to him learning that in the movie. I feel like they gave credit to 
Aunt May kind of. Oh, because, yeah, he, yeah, 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 you know yeah, I mean? yeah, 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 yeah. When yeah. the reality is you watch Tony Stark die, Spider-Man. You watch Tony Stark sacrifice himself. Oh, wow. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Oh, no. Wow, yeah, wow. all you had to do was give up people knowing you. Yeah. And you, yeah. Did, you know what I mean? That's it. You yeah. just had to give up people knowing you. A little, you know, anonymity. Is that the right word? Anonymity. Anonymity. Yeah. And, his, and his future, though, because he was going to go to... Tony Stark died, MIT. Alex. Uh, he died. I feel you. No more pepper pods. But they, they can bring him no back. No more easy. daughter. They can bring him back easy. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. That's true. But that's that's that, I, I enjoyed it. I just think that everybody was jumping out the window like, this is the best Marvel movie ever. Greatest Marvel movie of all time. Like, why do y'all do that? Stop. Keep, keep this in keep this in mind. For two years, we haven't seen a great movie. That's in all it theater. is. That's right. And I don't that's right. and I think that that played into it. It's like, yo, having that communal experience, right. watching mm-hmm. something that should be seen on a big screen, that's right. seeing it and Let's be honest, Marvel, for the most part, is phenomenal at story. They yes. create great stories. Yes. We're into, we're exciting, great effects, and they hire awesome actors. Like, say what you want. I get pissed off that all these motherfuckers are from England. Like, I want my Spider-Man to be from New York, Early. right? But, like, that kid Eternals. is a star, bro. You know why I haven't watched Eternals yet? Eternals? Eternals. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. I haven't watched Eternals yet because it's got too many high-profile stars. Yeah. Harry Styles, Angelina Jolie. That's not the way I like my Marvel movies. Interesting. You know what I mean? I didn't know Chris Helmsworth was a dream until I saw Thor. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I didn't I didn't really recognize Chris Evans like that. Did yeah, you? Yeah, no. I mean, no, I knew Robert Downey Jr., of course, but he, we, even him was coming back from... But you know the difference? We fuck, we fuck with uh, these characters so hard when they're the famous ones. Yeah. I don't know what the fuck Eternals is. I'm not a big Marvel head. So you need to bring... Some super, some like real heat with the actors to get a guy like me into Eternals, and I still am not into it. I never fucked with Paul Rudd. Tell Ant Man. Nah, nah, Paul Rudd is a guaranteed smash Fire. no matter what. No, 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 no. Like, let me explain something about Paul Rudd. Hasn't missed. Mm-hmm. His career is nonstop bangers, no matter what the fuck it is. Didn't know. When they put Paul Rudd in there, I, my first reaction was like, Paul Rudd. Then I was like, oh yeah, Paul Rudd never misses. It don't matter with Paul well, Rudd. He's, he was perfect for Ant Man. He brought you to the theater. He could be Spider Man. Yeah, 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 yeah. See, this, this Paul Rudd don't play. Yeah, he bodied Ant Man. So, like, no. what, literally, they made Ant Man as a throwaway. At least in my mind, I was like, oh, they just need to introduce the character. It is what it is. That shit came out. Phenomenal and, movie. And then he stole a few scenes in Avengers. A few. Ant Man is the man in Endgame. Paul Rudd. <laughs> He's the, Paul Rudd. The what man makes in a good Endgame. Marvel movie? Like, what's one of y'all worst ones? Y'all think hmm. the worst MCU. Uh, I don't Captain have Captain America. First one was trash. Nah, it wasn't trash. It was trash. Garbage. It wasn't trash. It was cool. It, was, it wasn't trash. It's the worst one in the trilogy. There we go. But it wasn't. It wasn't trash. Uh, what's the bad? So what black makes it Widow. trash? So what's y'all definition black of trash? Black Widow. Which one? Are black Widow. <laughs> black Widow. Yeah, Black Widow. I, know I mean, Black, black Widow, Widow ain't trash. Yeah. Black Widow about on the level of first Captain America to me. Yeah. You know which, what I mean? Which is, is this one like the worst one? Yeah. She's born like he's born. You know what I mean? Like, like, what does she do? You should see Eternals, though. Eternals is all right. That's Eternals, good? though? Yeah, yeah, it's pretty good. I'm going to watch it. I just, you know, all those stars turn me off. I'm like, ah, oh, Harry Styles. Yeah. You know what I mean? Don't get me wrong. I love One Direction. Best song ever is one of my favorite songs ever. No, One mm-hmm. Direction you know goes. Mean? Steal um, My Girl. That's Angelina Jolie. Fire. It's like, uh, you know, it's like, uh, I'm going to watch it, though. Smith. Shang-Chi was cool. It was okay. I try. I, I gave Shang-Chi a shot because my boy Ronnie Chang is in it. And Ronnie was great, uh, but. Uh, I don't know who Ronnie Chang is. Yeah. I watched it with Aquafina. I mean, I would have watched it anyway. But I and did. Aquafina. 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 Yeah, I literally gave it a shot for them. I did enjoy Shang-Chi. I enjoyed it. You know what it was? I'm just not familiar with the character like that. Yeah. And even when I look up in my goddamn Marvel encyclopedia, Shang-Chi's got like a quarter of a page. You know mm. what I mean? So it's kind of like they took something and tried to make it more than what it is, which is great because that's what Marvel does. Yeah. You know? So, I mean, I enjoyed it. It was a good movie. But yeah, to your point, this was the first Spider-Man, was it No Way Home? Spider-Man No Way Home was the first, like, Marvel banger mm. that we've seen in a minute, in a yeah. couple of years. And it Since felt Endgame, good. It felt good. felt really good. Like, yeah. You know I wanted to talk about real quick before we get out of here? The NLE Chopper shit. Oh, the little fight thing? And and, and the or reason the I want to talk about the NLE Chopper shit is because even more so than just people, it's scary nowadays the, what people will do for clout and attention. Mm-hmm. We really live in a world that's really just about perspective. Remember back in the day, they would say, um, believe half of what you hear. None of no, what you see. no, believe half of what you see, <laughs> none of what you hear. So, and there's one more. 
It, got, it can't it. be that. Believe, yeah, believe, believe none of what you hear. And half of what you see. Half of what you see. Yeah. Yo, that's literally, like, we really have to take that to heart in 2020, 20, mm. 2022. Mm. You should believe nothing of what you hear. Like, I'm not even joking. You yeah. should believe none of what you hear. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You hear it, you listen. That's know, it. Yeah. No, I'm just saying, you, you hear listen. Like, you're right, because if a girl, you hear, might hear a girl moaning or stuff like that, she might either be playing with herself or getting smashed. Either one. But you listen, <laughs> right? You but you listen. might be wrong. Either one, you might but be wrong. But don't so internalize the information is what I'm saying. Yeah. yeah. Until yeah. you've actually... Done some a, a lot more research on your own, and now you yeah, know, yeah, right? Yeah. And you really got to believe half of what you see, because this dude got on video and was like, "I just knocked NLE Chopper out." Yeah, NLE it's Chopper. A wild, it's wild. a woman in the background co-signing it, like he just knocked out NLE Chopper. It's not, yeah. and then you actually see the other angle of the video. It's none of that. <laughs> like literally, he none looked of like that. he dropped him. No. no, he looked like he dropped. Him I didn't in the see video. that at all. Oh, I, I, I saw he NLE fell. trip. He, he slipped. But that, he has slides on. But that's what you're doing for being out there by yourself with with, with your toes out. <laughs> no, <laughs> it's a, a reason why I put yeah, Tim's okay. on because at any time you're ready. He was at any time, this, especially these days saying. right now, somebody gonna come get you. Is it, look what happened? You ain't think you was going somebody gonna fuck with you that day? You had slides on and shit. My mm -hmm. point is, they can manipulate us so many different ways. The internet can manipulate you, manipulate us so many different ways and it's just like everything is about perspective like you're a fool if you just jump to a conclusion based off the first thing you see nowadays yeah literally you're a fool if you jump to a conclusion based off what you hear but you're really a fool that's why even when you know we, we do these topics you know on the podcast or on the radio i always say let's do them for shits and giggles because we really don't know yeah we don't know like like that whole story about oh travis scott called kanye west over not to true. the house i don't know if it's true or not i don't believe that i don't believe you really believe travis yeah who, who's been accused <laughs> of inciting riots yeah, yeah would yeah. call this guy over yeah, who probably, may cause mad commotion he, without he running might, it by the family he probably he, he might have he might have. He might have. Why do y'all think man, that? Man, man, why, man. Why, why, if he called Travis, if he probably he's cool know he's Travis. going through. Because you don't know what Travis and his kids You don't think it's possible yeah. that, like, the party was at capacity and he just wanted more people in there? Oh, oh my God. This guy. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> this guy. <laughs> this guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. This guy. Andrew Schultz. This is why he's one of the greatest comedians walking the face of the earth today. All right. How do you want it? Stand up podcast. All right. Written word. What do you want? What do you want, man? This guy. He even did good at his fucking wedding speech. Hey, what the fuck? Who does that? As always, if you look at this podcast, you think we're smart. You think you're intelligent. You think we're brilliant. You're absolutely right. Right. But if you listen to this podcast and you think we're just a couple of idiots who don't know shit, you're right too. It's the Brilliant Idiots Podcast. Thank you for listening. <laughs> <laughs>